Hello. Hello, ghouls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like sitting there waiting for it. I love it. <laughs> ghouls and boys. To Welcome to Girls Guts Gory. Oh. Gory. Oh. <laughs> We're just full of great things today. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Pulling them out. Tiny hands. <laughs> just, just, just tiny hands as well. The addition tiny of these hands. tiny hands. Can you roll your dice with those? Yes. yes. I should yes. have a That's a tiny hand. That's brilliant. <laughs> Those tiny hands. Well, you guys, hello. We are hey. Girls Gets Glory, a.k.a. Girls Gets Glory. Glory. Uh, <laughs> looking uh, dead as ever today, we hope, um, uh, with our eyes and our and our, and our our hearts full of, uh, what's it called, spookiness. We're going to hopefully scare the pants off of you, or maybe I will. That's kind of my job, so let's see if uh, I can do it. Um, no, we, no. Uh, we hope you've had a great Halloween weekend. We're excited, obviously, about Halloween. That's why we're all dressed up and decorated. Uh, today we do not have any giveaways, this is a heads up, but that doesn't mean that we don't want you to stay tuned and continue. You never know when things will pop up and I'll get a message saying, actually we do. So that would be awesome. Uh, just saying, you never We're know. We're giving away our friendship. Also, <laughs> stay for us because it's going to be a good story. Yes, and also maybe you guys can get inventive too. Maybe it's like we can sing a little diddly for you. We can play a song for you for a giveaway. Uh, Ali oh. brought, oh, with a tiny hand. Did you put this out of tune, Rachel? <laughs> we love you guys, so we want to celebrate y'all in all different ways, whether it's gifts or art or whatever. Um, so, uh, with that, I think that we appreciate the fact that you're tuning in a little bit later. We know that we're airing a little later today. We're usually um, about two to three hours earlier. So, uh, three. 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 Three p.m. PST. Oh, I was at TwitchCon this weekend, and I am just like twitched. But like, is that like a thing? Twitched. Twitched. We'll make it a thing. Twitched. Twitch is um, now. It was awesome, and no doubt you guys just probably Are you twitching. Twitch. I'm twitching. I'm twitching. Uh, I know Dice Camera Action was airing earlier. Congrats to Viv. I'm really excited for everything that's happening. So, with that, thanks, and let's begin our journey as you put a tiny hand in your mouth, Moira. <laughs> that was the creepiest so thing I've ever seen in my life. All right. um, so a quick recap uh, from the week previous. Um, all of these travelers here had been in Waterdeep for about six months, taking care of different things, uh, personal agendas, as well as private agendas, uh, as well as group agendas, as well as just new found agendas, rather that be uh, helping an orphanage or <laughs> joining the local theater troupe or mm -hmm getting a hand, literally just trying to get a hand. Um, but through their curiosity and as well as their desires, including uh, Miss Lala's desire to find something shiny, a ground uh, cave uh, that was trans they got transported to from a manor in Waterdeep um, from the castle ward. They followed this strange masked person with this cloak. It led them underground into a battle and a dialogue, but she got out with some pretty cool earrings and then they got out after adventuring and uh, traversing and just trying to get through the tunnel system underground, which led them to the cliffs of Waterdeep, which led them to the waters of Waterdeep as they were falling in. Uh, and a, a familiar friend and face was there to Fauna say hello. Fauna Ivy Underbow. <laughs> Miss Fauna, who had renamed her boat to Farron, appropriately. And um, you guys then recovered. You took care of some things that you had been taking care of as well, such as visiting the spires of Lathander. And this led to you guys trying to do some other things as well, such as finding a hat, saying farewell to Dranishka for a while, for a few weeks to send her off. And just to recover generally, make delicious food. Um, you've been helping out at, uh, he at the Heroes uh you, in the Hero's Garden, yeah. One of the only gardens in all of Waterdeep, kind of like it's Central Park. And as you guys were taking reposts and eating and just trying to sleep, you guys had heard very loud um, sounds coming from all across uh, the lands. It, it, it sounded almost like there was warning signs going off. You could see things almost getting shot up into the sky and things kind of exploding and there's these like marks in the sky and you're, you're just listening as you pulled back those covers. And from what you could gather after a day of just trying to get your wits about you, be, uh, be a, a party, get a hat for Fauna, it's also led to some sort of commotion. And the only thing that you guys were hearing as the guards were running around was that somebody is robbing the palace. So let's pick it up from there. As you guys are just pulling back these covers and there's noise, there's horses in the streets, um, the cobblestone is... Uh, 
it's pretty much hard to see because there's so many city guard that are just rushing in that direction right now. Um, and you can see some of them uh, almost like uh, making uh, the, the, the lieutenants and the generals are uh, look a little frazzled. It's chaotic right now, and it's pretty late at night. So can I make an insight check? Sure. What would you? What are you looking for? Are you trying to do like a perception check and understand maybe what's happening? What's going on, sure. Yeah. yeah. Please roll a perception, perception check. Yeah. Ooh. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. So as your dark vision kind of adjusts for a moment into the, the you see what it appears to be. Everyone's holding back curious adventurers. Now I had mentioned that there's a lot of people in Waterdeep walking around, especially in this area of the Castle Ward, not too far from where you are now. And it seems like there's a lot of curious adventurers right now, groups and parties and bands of people trying to get their hands in on this situation. There's like, and they're getting held back as well by the city guard who are saying, no, 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 we're taking care of the business. It's hard to hear through all the screens, but it seems like there's a lot of people seeing this as an opportunity to get in with the, pass, uh, the palace or people at the castle. So you're kind of gauging that though there's some sort of commotion happening not too far away from where you are now. There's also a lot of people who are trying to take advantage of it. So, I'd like to jump down from the treehouse and investigate. Okay, sounds good. So you jump down. You're just kind of getting your wits about you a bit um, as Lilith is kind of looking around. Okay, how far? How far is the commotion? Yeah, it's everywhere right now. I mean, where you guys are, uh, because like people, in relation to the tree. In relation to the tree, it's because of where the streets are. This is a very carved out, very methodically created, landscaped, manscaped uh, park. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's about, I would say, every 10 to 15 feet, there are these, like, cobblestone or paved paths, and they're just full of people running right now. And there's okay. guards, like, pushing people aside, trying to, there's an iron rot, iron rot gate that lets you into the park, and they're, like, trying to hold people back, adventuring parties, curious people, and only let out the city watch and city guard. Back from wait, the park, wait. or? From, from the park. Like, people are going through the park and trying to leave the park and go towards the castle right now, and they're only letting the city guard and city watch do it right now. I can go talk to the city guard right now. I can show them the earrings and be like, met this guy, Ooh. scary guy, found these. Do you think they're going to think that you stole them but that you're part of the problem? It seems a bit risky. Can I go to one of the guards? Sure. So you're just looking around. You see like a young chap kind of like trying to get people moving. You, sir, what's going on? I'm sorry, Matt. We, 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 we don't have time. Are you are you one of the elites? I, I can't tell. I mean, yes, of course I'm an elite. How, do you know who I am? A roll a deception check. Uh, That's no, not no, deception. No, no, me. I am you are. I meant intimidation check. Hey, I'm a little tired. Intimidation check, please. Ugh, I didn't roll with the tiny She's hand. That's why. No, it's only a five. Yeah, he's like he can barely hear you. You guys are shouting at one another, and as you're trying to get your message across here, like, I what I want to help, or I'm curious. He is not giving you time of day. And there's a couple other people also shouting, trying to get gauge, uh, gauge what the situation is. But nobody is quite dressed as fine as you, but he seems to be too busy. I'm sorry, miss, I, I, I can't, I, it, my, oh, yes, 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 yes. And so he just runs over. You can hear a whistle from a nearby lieutenant as he's starting to line up and guard and march forward. And then another drove comes through and tries to protect. Him. Oh, I was going to say, if he's left an opening into the area, then I'm just going to run past him. Seems like they're kind of... There's a lot of chaos happening. That opportune moment seems to slip by, but if you're able to kind of mimic your way in somehow, there might be a moment that you can go and follow the city guard or city watch as they're trying to hold everyone back. I would say that right now there's somewhere between 75 to 70 city guard and city watch just trying to handle this situation. And there's somewhere between 20 to 25 curious people moseying around trying to get in and out of the park. How far are we from the palace? Oh, this is, uh, this area, you are actually not technically in the closest location to the castle ward. Now, the heroes, um, the he I, I'm always uh, clicking on this little thing. The hero's garden is not too far off of it. You guys would get, probably be like the equivalent of like 20 to 25 blocks away, but that's still enough of a walk, all things considered. Horn. My horn! Um, My horns are going to fall over you guys. <laughs> it's spooky. It's a ghost. Yeah. From where, <laughs> from where I, I am, can I look and see... Is the treehouse close enough so that we could jump to a roof? 
Are you um, are you asking if the trees nearby some some like other buildings? buildings? Yes, if we could jump from yeah. it to uh... This is actually one of the only this thing. Uh, you guys, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. Uh, my horns, you guys, feeling scary today. <laughs> it's okay. On time. It's all right. We're all we're, we're all in this together. Um, so, um, but yes, uh, the actual tree that Rowan had chosen was one of the only healthy, vibrant trees. Um, it's not nearby any other trees. This this is a little bit of a dink, rink a dink dinky park. Mm-hmm. Um, everything every tree is about twenty to thirty feet away from one uh, from another tree. It's not you're you're like out full in the open just. Come back here. I can't. I can't. Oh. Okay. Emotion. Back to the tree. Come on back up into the treehouse. So, Lala, mm. I agree. We should get rid of the earrings as soon as possible. I'm wondering. If you can cast invisibility on them, and then I can fly them and drop them well, into I the could, castle property. I could do that. That's I, true. I think perhaps the... Maybe could I fly too? Like, maybe, Lala, can you press the um, fly. flight on me, and then we can fly over there together? I can only do invisibility on myself, though. I am concerned only because I think that their owner should know the full story. That yeah. she is the the so called prince of these masked lords, she should know that one of them is stealing from her. Yeah. Tell her it was Quell. Well yep. good point. I have an idea. Mm-hmm. What if we return the earrings secretly and then find her and just tell her so it's not like we stole these uh Or we return the earrings with a note. I like that idea. Yeah? Can I just say, that boy had no idea who I was, and I'm going to find his superior, and he's going to hear about this. Oh, yeah, you should tell him. Just saying. How, punk. how... It's a punk. <laughs> so after you write the note, how to return them? Just invisibly I'll just, fly? Yeah, I'll just invis- invisible myself, and then cast invisibility <laughs> on myself, and then I'll okay. fly them over. I'll leave them there, and then I can, um... Oh, I'll have a note, and I'll just drop them. Well, I won't let you fly alone. Yes, I would like to investigate. How about Moira and I go by foot? Yes. And Lilith, you would come with us by foot? Sure. And then Lala and Rowan fly above. Oh, the only problem is how do we get there? To the castle. We go to the tutorial. But there's uh, thousands of guards in between Maybe us. Maybe Rowan can give you a pass without trace? I, I can do that. I'm very, I'm, I'm kind try. of like someone banging pots and pans around. I, I don't know. Mm, not, paladins are not meant to be sneaky. Maybe I could, um... Hmm. Mm. I, okay, Maybe. so DM question. Mm-hmm. So, I, one of my options as a druid to turn into can be, uh, like, a swarm of a type of animal. Could I somehow share that swarm? So, we're a swarm of flying... Some things together, or is so it could only be a part the of the swarm? I think it isn't that wild shape. Yeah, I think that's a like I'm wondering if there's any way I can oh, <laughs> share my wild shape. Oh, I think the, the thing you could do is you could become a swarm and then like put yourself all over one of your like friends here, like almost like cover them in bugs if you wanted, or cover them in rats because you would become those bugs or rats, if right? You right, um. Hmm. But it might, yeah, it may not be so provide full cover. I, I have an idea for myself because I am clinky and, and hard to secret away somewhere. Did I see a place where there was a gate that no one could get over but wasn't guarded? Hmm. Well, I'm going to have, as, as I'm going to say, as Lilith and Moira are trying to recollect as they were walking through the castle ward the landscape of everything. Can I have the two of you guys roll a survival uh, check just to see what you can remember about where you might be able to go? I had also no. done like a little... 12. You had two, so you as well, if you would like. Okay, I'm going to do tiny hands because they were treating oh. me really well earlier. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the trail! <laughs> what, what is this? Uh, survival? Survival. Eight. Okay. So, Moira, Lala... You, 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 the, the events of the day were exhausting enough, and you weren't looking for a particular entry point like this. You were just trying to gauge general information. Um, Lilith, you have a, f- a faint recollection that there are other ways to get out of the park besides this one iron gate. Yeah. Um, it's not like 
you know, it's just a general very high fence. Also, if you guys wanted to like try to get over it, it's about a 15 foot high iron rack gate. And you think that if you are quiet enough about it or smart enough about it, there might be areas that don't have as much light in them as others. And that's too. what I was looking for. Yes. Can I poke my head out and see if I can... But with that survival check, you don't. Oh. I'm going to say that that's... You and can't there's see There's commotion and... What? I'm just trying to see... No, like, you cannot see from here. No, okay. this, there's like barely anything around the tree. The tree, for about 20 to 30 feet around it, it's pretty much clearing. There's a path nearby and there's tons of people running on it. So... But you have a faint recollection from just traveling in and out of the park. Hmm. Well, I wonder if I should even go then. Maybe we should just send the pixie. Well, I don't want to leave them alone just because of what happened last time. It's pretty, pretty dangerous. Try to not fly into any more teleportation things. Just like as a general. Mm, that's a good general, general you know, idea. <laughs> You yeah. haven't had the best luck in those situations. Well, here's the thing. If you can climb over somewhere, then I can just misty step over. If we can find a place that isn't very well lit and isn't guarded, then we can just kind of... I can bamf over there and you can... I can still pass, the acrobat pass without trace for as much as it'll help. That would probably okay. still help. Mm -hmm. I could jump down off the, the treehouse into the crowd and start trying to... Go. No, Fauna, come <laughs> just, like, Fauna, just like put her little feet out there and just start to crawl out as you guys are talking. You guys guys. Like, I did not teach her that. Time is of the essence. I see her and I <laughs> grab her by the waist. Do as I arm. say, not what I do. I'm let's see what teacher. happens. Okay, sounds good. Just gonna, a contest. All right, so let's make this a uh, dexterity saving <laughs> throw. And uh, let's have this be a, a strength check from you, Lilith. No. Pretty strong. Pretty not dexterous. <laughs> De dexterous? <laughs> 19. Yeah, you, you get the your arms around her waist. You grab her fine. Uh, what do you think? Uh, you're going, Missy. I bored. I mean, she oh, is no, correct. We should head out. That, uh, my... Well, can we ha help me draft this note first? Okay. Let's, my let's... charisma's just okay. Mm -hmm. My nice calligraphy. Um, what are you guys saying in the note? I'm, I'm going saying. to say, um... My charisma uh, is quite good if you uh, need to craft something. Do you, uh, That's okay. Laurel. Do you, do you Laurel? Or just... How do you spell Laurel? it? L -L and are you writing this in, in, in common or draconic or... Wait. No, common. Common. Okay. There are no L A R E L. L-A-U-R-E-L. Yes. Dear, dear, dear Madame Silverhand. Wait, can you spell it for me? Yes. Dear Madame, yes. Silverhand. Madame Silver Silverhand. Hand. Laurel Silverhand. <laughs> um, I read Silver Lord. Got this <laughs> from a feed in a hood. Um, well, I'm going to, I'm going to give them. We got it from a fiend, a fiend in the hood. Something's happening, and I feel like we gotta get there. Okay, but real quick, okay. Uh, dear Madame Silverhand, uh, I came across these, and I'm going to describe the house. Okay, you do um, so. Tell them, and the... The uh, gold-eyed creature. The house, the portal in the fireplace, I'm going to tell them everything. Uh, Quell, tell them about Quell. Quell. Yep. The fiend. Can you draw us mask? I mean, is it just like I a blank mask? Try. You certainly can try. Yes, so let's, let's have this be... I want it to be a history check as you're trying to remember very specific details of the last 24 hours from like the streets that you were going down because you were just following shiny objects. You weren't really looking at the streets when you were following them. Well, do we remember because we were on foot following her into the castle? You guys were just Ooh. running. Remember how you pinged? How you put locate object and you guys were just running in the night trying to run in the general direction. It was okay. pretty fast. So no. What am I rolling? Uh, a history check. Six. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> to the best of your ability, you describe the location, the details of the events, everything you possibly can. You fold that, and you did, you did your best. You gave it your all. Make I'm going to sure, hand it to Moira to proofread it. Yeah, I want to make sure it says that he had gold eyes and that he was a fiend. Um, that he was very grumpy. He, he was a masked lord, or at least and he, he had a mask. He broke his leg. 
The place was in the castle ward. It was a giant mansion, but it looked as if it hadn't been touched for a long time. And the teleportation thing. And that thing there was a the teleportation fireplace. thing in the fireplace and, and lots marble. of, I mean, obviously. Yes, lots of black marble. That's it. That's all I remember. And then I say, hey, Lilith, look, a dragon. And I try to jump again. <laughs> okay, uh, make a strength contest, and then I'm going to have this be from you. Uh, uh, a deck saving throw. Now, don't forget, you get. Uh, do you get disadvantage on a grapple to remove? You do not. So you just you're just trying to get out of it. All right, go ahead. Hey Lilith, look a dragon. <laughs> oh no, you don't. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you move into restraint. So 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 that would be like you had your arms around her waist, and then as she's trying to squirm out, you like put her your hands around her arms too. So right now Mommy, you're gonna she's be like losing your privileges. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be grounded. Uh, I'm gonna put you in that little cupboard over there. Crazy, over crazy the stone. situation. You guys you cannot so touch this. Old. Just like wrap her in a papoose and put it on your back and carry her. Why are you so excited to get out of here? Let's make a plan and then we'll get. Well, she's always Usually a you're the wise one of the She's a teenager. She's a teenager. She's a teenager. It's just that it's, you know, it's how teenagers go. Look, I feel like we like, like, I am like, Can I have you roll? Can I have you roll a constitution saving throw? Is she gonna pass it off? I'm only 40. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 75. I don't look that old, do I? <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to pass out? So, what? I'm going to say that, Fauna, these hormones are really getting to you lately. Like, it's been a, it's been a chaotic couple of oh. days. And so, right now, like, yeah. PMS you're, is driving us all crazy. <laughs> you're so angry right now. Like, you're angry about us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> should we roll the see if we're all on the same side? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm definitely oh, gonna say God. that Fauna's feeling Fauna's feeling very emotional right now. She's very upset. Ooh, why do you have to hold me back, Lilith? Hmm. I don't miss being a teenager. All right. So is the note done? I think it's good. Go. Yes. Yes. We should. We should. All right. And the pack plan the, is the... yes. Uh, flight and drop and invisibility and drop it, and then I'll just go back. The if you just want to wait for there. me outside, unless you can turn yes. into, like, you can turn into slides, or that's, or mats, that's something, and it'll we'll just fly together. Okay. Yes, we'll meet you. Then I'll we'll turn into... into I, I want to turn into a bat. Okay. <gasps> All right, sounds good. So, <laughs> Rowan turns into a tiny little adorable bat. Mr. Hopkins gets very Sit. upset for a second. He doesn't understand what's happening. Oh, he can come with me. Can you, can you carry he'll, him? Or I could, no, no, no. He'll stay. I fly up to him. He smells you, and then he, he, he gives you a little squirrel oh. hug with your bat. Bat squirrel hug. I, Mr. Hopkins, if you'd like a, a, a travel companion, no? Is he going to stay here? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, and, I, and I shuffle him with my wings toward his little bed. Yeah, he's like he's perched on top of it like a like a watch squirrel. Like he's he's watching everything for you. This is his home. No one's coming into Rowan's home. <laughs> All right. And I, I I did cast. I didn't say it, but I pass cast and pass without trace on everyone. Right? Okay. Great, great. So she casts a spell. Everybody, uh, the shadows kind of envelop you from the uh, her hands. As you guys feel like your shadows are definitely taking over. Um, your your physical form providing a lot of coverage, especially in the night. Okay. All right, we're going to go find we're a off. place to hop over and misty step. Sounds good. So you guys are trying I'm to find. I'm putting Fauna in my backpack. Oh wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Are you resisting that or? Yeah, I'm resisting. Okay, that. <laughs> okay. So with a disadvantage dexterity check. So if you could roll a, a dex a dex saving throw with disadvantage, do you have rope? Uh. I a kid do. do. I want to wait. Can I use the rope to make a little like kid backpack leash thing? Do you know those things? Oh, it's like the monkey <laughs> backpack with the tail. Yeah. Do you uh, have rope? I do. I okay. Then I'll say that yes. that as she's squirming, as can you just make that check real quick? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a disadvantage, unfortunately. Because I don't trust her in this state. <laughs> okay. So she's trying to squirm, and like you're able, she's really trying to fight it. I need to roll. Four. Four. She rolled a four. No, but I'm going to say what happens with this is, is she's trying to squirm and she's trying to break free, but your grapple stays strong. You're able to get her down on the ground, and like you don't know what, you can't let go of your arms. So then Moira walks over with, a, do you have rope in your hands? Yes. All right. So you walk over with some rope. 
Yeah, it's just it's gonna wrap around her shoulders and into the back, so she can't undo it or take it off. Your flight wrist. And it's gonna have a little bit of of of, not a leash, but like a lead. Kidnapping. It's not (laughs) kidnapping. Oh my gosh, you're so dramatic. I fly over to my kitchen and I forcing someone to go somewhere (laughs) tied up. This is where you wanted to go, and your hands are free. We're just making sure you're not going to run I'm gesturing to a tincture I've made for PMS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go take it and just... I don't know how it tastes, but you should just do it a little bit. Tastes I mean, like wine. I'll just, wine is good. Then enjoy it. <laughs> wine is good. Would you just... We don't ever let you have wine. It, it, tastes, it tastes pretty good, all things considered. It's pretty good. I need some wine to go with it. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss her forehead and then have the and the little thing on her. Right. Can I have you make a dex check just to see how well you tie it to see if she's gonna break free or not? <laughs> no. Maybe I should make a dex check to see. I'll, I'll, you know what? I will say you, I'll give you I'll give you advantage because Lilith has full restraint on her. So let's. That was real nice of you. Oh, <laughs> why? All right, these are going away. Uh, and I what know. was the check on that? That was a dex check. Yes, please. Yes, Five. with advantage. With oh, advantage? My last one I rolled a three and then a four. Okay, so she's never made quite this thing. And Fauna, with your passive wisdom, like passive perception, you're kind of like, uh, like if I'm, I, I, if I'm I move gonna, a certain way, like I can like undo this whole I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to act like it's good. <laughs> Sounds good. So Moira, <laughs> you, Did you just say Wait, that do loud? I believe her? No, in my head. I do, do I believe, believe her? Okay. She's, do I believe yeah, no, I mean, you you spent all this time wrapping this up. You you think you, you know, you think you've got at least a, a, a style of knockdown I'm that would remain? <laughs> no, no, no. No. If she runs off and gets hurt, then, I mean, she might just I can heal myself. myself, okay? I'm very powerful. Oh my she gosh, you're so stuff. annoying. <laughs> Should we just give her some wine? Okay. I like, no, we're not going to watch it. Actually, it would relax her. Herbalism. That's not going to turn her into okay, a flat. I knew he was told by herbalism kit. She's 14. No, I'm just going to cast you, invisibility you on just see, You see this bat, like, knocking itself into all of its oh, herbalism. Oh, just go. No. We'll take care of her. You guys just go. She's too young for side. herbs. It'll kill a brain cells. We'll make you on the other side of the gate. I'm, I'm already invisible, and I'm just going to shout, Rowan! <laughs> Follow my voice. And I can... See her with my echolocation. Oh, All right, Fauna. Great. That's so cool. <laughs> That's great. Fauna, if you want to get out of the backpack, just let me know. I'm not in the backpack, right? I'm yes, you are. Tied. Um, <laughs> they tried to make, like, a kitty backpack with, like, a lead. Yeah, they tried to make, like, a kid backpack. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. But your hands are free. <sighs> okay, let's go. If All we're right. Go, if we're going to go, let's go. Cool. All right. And you're still tied up. I'm still tied up. All right, sounds good. So I'm going to say that you're going to probably have to carry her down the uh, down the stairs to the uh, from the treehouse. Uh, but as the three of you guys make your way on foot, um, just trying to gauge, and you are currently cloaked pretty well with uh, Pass Without a Trace, so you feel like you have so good coverage. <laughs> well, prove that you can be without it, and we'll let you go. Luckily, we're passing without a trace. People aren't noticing my dumb backpack. <laughs> like I said, prove that you don't need it, and we'll let you go. <laughs> Don't wow. sass me or you won't get your present. I spent a lot of money on it. Okay, fine. Whatever. Right. <laughs> it's a nice present. What can I say? Yeah, maybe I should keep it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe we should good. just share it. Yes. Of... It was pretty cute. This is yeah. so mean. <laughs> and you just start to backpack walk away. Yeah. The shoulders no, forward. No, I'll fly off. No, the yeah, two of you guys. Yes. Uh, using your sonic, uh, using your sonic waves as you fly away from this very uh, emotional scene uh, beneath you near the treehouse, um, you're able to pick up on her on, on pings as you use your echolocation following Lala as she is currently fully uh, 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 not just with pets without a trace but also invisible. So you feel like you guys have incredible coverage. So maybe the two of you guys can roll uh, stealth checks um, as you guys are flying up. So do I get? 10 on top of my invisibility? Yeah, ten? so you get, so wow. so 10, I I usually still feel like 10 is not uh, ample enough for invisibility, so I, you get advantage and then you get the additional 10s. So so I get plus 20 to whatever I roll. Yeah. So it's always going to be a base of 20. Okay. Uh, Do it again. Don't forget to get advantage. Oh. Or, am I going to add 20? Oh, okay. no, I'm going to go with the 38. Hold on, I have to add my stealth to it too. Oh my god. Just in case. <laughs> 27. Wait. 
27 for... So so what happens is this is like... that's dex. Okay, so that's great, that's... great. Wait, sounds good. You are using your um, so, your sonic location. You're flying mm-hmm. out. You feel like you're cloaked in shadows. You pretty much are one with the night. Like the color of the bat you chose and everything. Perfect. No one will be able to spot you. Modifier. Just to clarify. Yes. So it's plus 10 on top of my modifier, right? When I'm invisible? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I rolled an 18. Uh, plus 7, which is 25. Yes. And then another 20, so 45. <laughs> she disappears from this plane of existence okay. entirely. That is that is so stealthy that like you even get scared every time you like ping she pings on like you don't understand where she is but like you look and they, they, you don't know who she's there like Lala's doing some like magic tricks here with your mind it's amazing can I still locate her though? <laughs> you, you can locate her because okay. of your sonic perception, okay. Okay. which uh, <laughs> knocks down things quite exponentially. Also, because you cast Path without a trace okay. there, and okay. you also had to, had had a dialogue. But you do feel like you're trying to follow her and keep up to speed and okay. stay nearby as best as you can. It's your choice if you want to go away, because right now you're so stealth that like you can do anything you want, Lala. This is how you feel. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, too too much power. Us, um, how j- question? Because I. Like, myth flight, it occurs to me. Maybe I should have been a giant bat. How big are giant bats? Uh, <laughs> giant cans are pretty big. Um, you would have to look up the stats on that. I, I can okay. pull them up for you. But for now, we can just say that you're a regular bat. And then if we need to go back, okay. we can go back okay. on that. All right. But in the future, okay. if you wish to do more giant things, totally plausible. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to keep pretty close to Rowan. Okay. Sounds good. So I'm looking around. What do I see? So yeah, roll a perception check, Rowan, please. Ooh, right. Nine plus the bat's perception is <laughs> eleven. Um, which one would be the it's perception? One plus one. Oh, oh okay. So twenty. There are. Yes. Could be the horses. Um. Also, I believe that you keep your initial wisdom. I don't think that oh, you retain okay. the wisdom of the creature that you become. So it would just so be whatever 22. your normal wisdom. Is. Sweet. 22. Oh, 22. Okay, great. So, as you're using your check here, just to try to understand exactly, and you're not using any sort of special ability, this is just a general mm-hmm. perception check from your own brain, um, you look around, from what you can gauge, there is a lot more commotion happening closer to the castle or in the palace area, especially since the palace and the Blackstaff Tower are all within this kind of very highly guarded um, uh, section of the castle ward. And as you're approaching this, you can see droves of people getting pushed. There's like um, almost like the equivalent of rope being pushed against all these curious patrons and people and parties. And there's there's a lot of people who look much like you and your friends here, groups of five or six people who are trying to help. You can hear them shouting. They don't seem to be curious about the the um, the raiding happening. They don't seem to be saying, oh, you know, what's happening to this? They're like, we want to help. We want to help. There's just echoes of like tons of people dri- dying for an opportunity to get involved or invested with the palace. Um, but what you catch most distinctly is that the city guard and the city watch um, are keeping their eyes on the street. Um, the streets are packed. It's getting roped off. There's the entry point, uh, the main gates into the castle ward um, section of the palace, which is, I would say, about 500 feet wide. And a, somewhere, it's hard to see deep, but it's very, very wide location that has these four or five buildings within it. Um, within the building structure, that's what you guys are flying over and trying to see. You're, you're not too curious about the street mapping, but you're curious about what's happening inside. Um, you see pockets of about 20 different guardsmen wearing different um, uh, kind of uh, different tiers. Maybe some are generals. Uh, some of them might be younger men, but they're just like kicking down doors. You can see met generals, women, men just talking to one another. There's a group in the center, though, that's most distinct as everyone's kind of spread out and talking and trying to navigate or address how to handle this situation. What you catch is a massive carriage of some sort. The the carriage doesn't look too nice. It's a kind of broken down looking carriage, sizable. Um, I would say it's about 15 feet uh, wide and about 20 feet deep. Um, Inside of this caravan, you see like in shackles, just like this group of like 25 people. Mm -hmm. And all of these guardsmen are pushing more and more into shackles. Um, You catch that as this is happening, there's a woman with gray hair and purple robes 
who is standing there next to several guardmen, and they seem to be talking and conversing with her, and she looks a little uh, shaken, and there's a group of about six people behind her who are all wearing um, similar-looking clothing, like these purple-gold-toned robes. They're not wearing armor. They're not wearing... Um, and they don't have a lot of weaponry on them or anything like that. They definitely stand out. And you have a feeling that... Religious order. It might be a religious order. It might be... It's someone of some sort of importance as she is talking with these... Uh, it looks like maybe a general. I'm okay, going to try sorry. to... Ooh, sorry. I'm going to try to fly closer to see if I can hear, and like, if they call her by name. Did we make a game plan about what direction we're going? Because we can't see them. No. We, we were, we're just going to get on the other the side castle. of the gate and, and yeah... Head as far as we could. And did you say, sorry, did you say this caravan, this carriage with the 25 prisoners is after, is through the gate, so on the castle side or on its way? Yeah, so the castle ward's a whole section, but then the palace in itself is that, se- there's that second entrance point to even get into the, the palace okay. where there's about five to six towers, a couple of buildings and things like that. You're looking in the, uh, essentially the courtyard of that, okay. where that chaos is happening. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, you'd have, you had so to fly the, over. Okay. Yeah, you had to like fly over that um, uh, that large uh, entrance point. Um, mm-hmm. Quick question. Did we get a short rest in the... A short rest? Uh, you would intentionally... You did intentionally want a short rest, I think. You guys hadn't been gone your long, your long rest yet. Okay. Well, so, yes. I mean, I thought... Wait. From between our battle and... Yeah. I thought... Oh. It was the middle of the night. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. But you guys ate food. You had a meal. You rested. You relaxed. So I would say that you technically, as you had um, ate the food and had a nice dinner, that was a short rest. So yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna rework my spell <laughs> So yes, this is what you catch, and and you and you see that they seem to be um, poking and prodding at these people <clears throat> in this line, and no, they're almost getting um, shipped or pushed into the caravan. I also fly down a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna get as not like, I'm going to get as close as I can so I can hear what they're saying. Okay, sounds good. Um, the two of you guys, no doubt, because you're trying to stay within 60 feet of Lala at all times, just so you can understand where she is on your radar wave here. You fly down. You see, how close are you getting? It's very loud. It's very chaotic. There's a lot of people talking. <clears throat> How close do I have to get in order to hear? Okay, so I'll, I'll say that you, you feel safe as you're, like, kind of flying around, you know, going from one shoulder to the next, hiding behind one shoulder to the next. Um, you're flying to a lot more to the younger-looking city guardsmen who seem to be very confused, and, like, um, even when you, like, go on their shoulder, they're like, oh, like, like, they feel <laughs> something, but, like, they don't know what it is kind of thing. Um, one of them, like, turns around and, like, puts out, like, their weapon and just... And then his friend hits him upside the head and is like, you're just imagine everything's Gerald. And Gerald's like, got active imagination. So this is just kind of yeah, what's happening as you're, yeah, as you're flying behind each one of these ones. Um, you get about 10 feet away. And you feel like if you get just a little bit closer, you can hear. All right. Uh, then I'm going to get a little bit closer. All right. Can I have you roll a uh, stealth check? Same rules apply. Oh, yeah. Same rules apply. Uh, okay. Uh, 31? The highest one was 14. 14 plus 7 plus 10 plus... Oh, 14 plus 7 plus 20. So 41. 47. 40. Okay, so it's 27. Plus 41. Oh, it's 41. Yeah, oh, it's 41. <laughs> Jeez, oh, man, that's just <laughs> so much. Shouting out <laughs> That's a very high check. That's great. Okay. 21 plus 20. 21 yeah. plus 20. Got it, got it. So as you creepily fly as a little bit closer, you're finally able to pick up once you're within five feet some of the dialogue that's happening. So this is what you hear. The woman says to this kind of larger man, he must be about six and a half, uh, six and a half feet tall. He's got like a short buzz cut, like short blonde buzz cut. He looks sunburnt, uh, sun-kissed. He has deep, uh, very like uh, deep set blue eyes. Um, as he's talking to her, he's about her height. She's actually pretty tall too. She's a, probably a little under six feet, six feet in, in height. Beautiful, beautiful silver hair. Um, uh, long silver hair. 
Um, she's wearing a very pretty necklace and these purple robes as she looks to him. Um, kind of Angelina Jolie look here, we'll say. Um, as she turns to him, she goes, <clears throat> Farlin, I just don't understand why and how this could have happened. And he looks to her. Lady, I assure you, uh, we, 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 we don't have the answers now, but we will get them. We will investigate to our fullest extent what had occurred. And she looks shaken and she goes, Farlin, I, I understand that you have some of the best soldiers in all of Waterdeep. I, I, I understand you're going to investigate this, but you, you must understand where I'm coming from. The level of protection in the palace is usually, you know what, how hard it is, how impossible it is. And you hear him um, like put his hand on her and she's shaking a little bit. Um, and he goes, I, I know um, this is probably very traumatizing for you. Uh, we, we swore that this would never happen again. And I, I promise you all of our protective measures will, 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 will go to the full extent. And she just grabs onto him very closely uh, with both of his hands. And she draws closer. Everyone behind her kind of gets closer too. And she just stops them. She goes, do everything you can. Find out everything you can. One of these people here must have more information about who did it. And in the meantime, I don't feel safe here. And he just kind of nods. Um, he snaps his fingers twice as about 10 or 15 more of his guards come over to her. Um, and you hear him say, Laurel, we will take care of you. And she's beginning to walk away right now with six or seven people um, in some sort of direction towards one of the large buildings. Um, there's a couple other guards who are trying to stop her, but the moment that she puts her hand up, like, don't test me, they bow deeply and they step back a couple times. She kind of nods and she continues to walk forward. There are six or seven people behind her. Perception check real quickly from the two of you. And I'm going to say that you're also like kind of behind Lala, <laughs> listening Ooh. in as best you can too. Rolled one. 19. <gasps> Dice oh, geez. Okay. So I'm going to say, <laughs> can you tell me maybe why you were so distracted with that one? I was just really, I was very, I was listening very intensely. And as I'm flying, I just fly right into a, like a post or a... <laughs> I was Sparkles just, come out of nowhere. I was just trying to listen, and I was trying to find okay. Rowan, and I just ran into a pump. I'm going to say that you hit it so hard that it knocked your invisibility out of you, but you still have your past without a trace. It's just now, like, you are you don't feel as invisible as you once did, and you see, like, a little puff of black smoke, like, start to circle around, and you, you're you like, oh, Lala is suddenly not as stealthy as she was five seconds ago. I find a tin can to my <clears throat> wire, and I hang upside down it next to her. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was, that was her. That's the, that's the woman. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna uh, try and get my, um, what? I don't. <laughs> um, I see a flaw in our plan. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, okay. On her head. Okay. All right. So, um, so I'm going to fly. Um, I'm going to uh, motion to have Rowan fly very close to me. Okay. So you do so as you're. And then um, uh, I'm going to try to fly. <laughs> I'm scared. I know, me too. <laughs> like, um, I'm going to say with a 19, you had caught Lala doing that, thankfully, with that okay. really high perception check. You also caught a very small detail that she may have not seen. Okay. Which is that the people following behind her all had masks on their face. Ooh. What? <laughs> the little wings. <laughs> I wish that you were doing this with the tiny ears. I know, I know. Um, I'm just here. I, how, can I make a performance check to see if she can understand yeah, can. what I'm doing? Let's make it make a performance check. Okay, please. let's see how well we can interpret. Okay. So, 
good dice. It's a negative one, but that's still an 18. Woo! Okay, so after, so I'm going to say Rowan, mm-hmm. you you actually during some time hanging out with Lola have been trying to understand her mime classes that she's been taking in with her theater crew. And so you, <laughs> okay. you've sat down and you've seen her do some of the miming. Um, so you're like trying to channel the mime, the, like the miming. Uh-huh. And, and, and Lala, you're really confused. Um, yes. It's a great performance. Can I have you just roll a quick like, you know what? No, no. This is just going to be you. An intelligence check. Let's make an intelligence check. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 17. Okay. You're, you're, it's like trying to, you know, communicate with somebody who doesn't speak your language. So you're just, and she's also a bat. So it, it, it has an extra <laughs> layer of confusion. But you swear, like, after she does certain motions, she, she seems to spell out something with her, her arms and then do this thing with her face where she, like, puts her wings in front of her and then goes, <gasps> Yeah, <laughs> and you get it after a couple times. Mask. Oh, she's trying to say they masks. Oh my gosh. That, okay, so I gotta drop it in front of her, away from those guys. Okay. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna try to fly up behind her. I'm gonna try to catch up to uh, to to Laurel and um, maybe drop it like right in front of her. Okay. And I'm echolocating for any webs or things. Okay, so Or maybe, good. yeah, or I'm just going to try to, I'm just going to aim for her general, either her, her general area. All right, let me describe what this looks like. So she's okay. walking in the direction towards a building, right? And this very beautiful white marble palace of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, everything here is kind of white marbled and gorgeous, minus the texture of the Blackstaff Tower, which is very distinctly black. Uh, Blackstaff in the sky. Uh, however, she's... The way she's walking right now, she seems to be going towards steps that go up. A lot of city guard around there. Kind of shocked that she's even walking back into whatever location this is. It seems like most of the commotion's happening from this location. She's walking up there. There's almost a V behind her uh, of six people, uh, three on either side. Are they the masked people? Yes. Okay. And they're wearing different colored robes. There's a couple that have blue in them and, and gold, but they're, they seem to all be of different stature. So they're kind of in a V shape behind her. So she is kind of leaving the pack right now. So if you're trying to like go in front of her, there might be an opportune moment to do so, but they all are watching and walking forward and they have visual on her. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to do <laughs> so <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna fly up next to Rowan. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna loop around, I'm gonna curve, I'm gonna do a deep curve and I'm gonna drop it and then we gotta get out of there. Okay? Okay. All right. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna try to do like a deep Deep curve around the V. Okay. And drop it. And are you trying to do it like on the ground or in her? Like, she, her hands are not up like this. You know, no, she's walking I'm gonna forward. Drop it. It's either going to land in front of her or on her head. Okay. And I'm make, gonna get there. make a dexterity check as you're trying to do this very acrobatic. Kind of like on the, on the side in yeah. the air. In the and I will say, I'll say I, this can be if you're really swooping, an acrobatics check as well, if you'd like, instead of just a general dex. It's your choice. It's going to be the same either way. Oh, okay, I gotta re-roll Oh, that. that was cocked. It was almost a 20. It was either going to be a 20, a 20 or a 2. two. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. 16. 16. So, so you fly, <laughs> swoop by, and take a moment. Bing! As you hear something hit against the white marble in front of her feet. It is about a foot and a half in front. As she kind of looks down, you see one of the masked people say, hold her back. You swear to God you hear a conversation as you see them grab it and put it in their pocket. It's the one on the right hand side, but she seems to be like, why are you stopping? And there's a dialogue happening right now. And there's some sort of threshold that this person crossed that wasn't appropriate like you're not supposed to go ahead of her or something of that sort and you see him like or her kind of scuttle and shake their hands as they try to pretend to like shine her shoe and she's like confused and she like kind of kicks them off her foot and there's a dialogue happening right now was it perhaps limping it's hard to tell right now as as can i jump in maybe because as i see that that the other person is seeing it can i like fly over to him and poop on his head I fly over to him and I poop on his head. Like, from a distance, but... You're gonna... 
<laughs> You're gonna shikaka on the uh, yeah. Sorry, I had to. I mean, I'm above reference. swiping it's distance, so good. but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. I yeah. Seen so yeah. I'm interfering with what she just said before. Please. Guano man. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. All right. As a reaction. <laughs> All right. As a reaction. All right. Uh, let's um. Reaction. I want to see how this plays out, and then we're gonna cut back to them. But okay. uh, let's do this. So uh, let's have this be a dexterity check to see how accurately. Okay. You can get that poop right on this guy's head or girl's head. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Okay. It. You kind of, like, are flying, and because of Pass Without a Trace, because you're also trying to be stealthy, Mm -hmm. you kind of, like, hit it, but it hits the back of him. Oh, yeah? Oh, but a stealth is different than just a Yes, yes. But it does hit his back. It doesn't hit right on the head, but it hits the back, and it takes a moment as some of the other people behind her, like, two or three, like, look up, and one of them, like, chuckles and points, like, (laughs) he's that. Um, But he doesn't seem to take notice of it, but there's definitely poop on his back, and two or three of the other mass lords are checking this out. Okay. Is there, um, is there, sorry, is there a place to, like, perch for a second? I will say that the, the front, the facade of this marble palace of some sort um, does provide an opportunity. There's a couple of ledges, small ledges. Um, a lot of it is uh, very Grecian in style. It's a very uh, Ionic-looking building. It's very classic. Um, as you can perch up on maybe one of the pillars of the Ionic columns and just take a look and try to gauge what's happening. Because it, it does give you good view. Everything's low lit with lamps right now, but because of the sheen of the floor, uh, a lot of the lights refracting, and you can see her, and she stops. She is not going in there right now. Like, there's a dialogue happening. Something has occurred that shouldn't have happened. So, while you guys are trying to gauge this whole situation, the three of you are pushing your way through the chaos trying to find that one section of, of, uh, of exit from this, uh, uh, from the hero's uh, garden that you can wiggle out of, you do find a kind of uh, rot, uh, it's a little ramshackly of a park, and you do find a section of it that seems to be bent out or rotted away. So you're actually able to kind of step through it without too much trouble, um, having known the location, and you just start to book it in the direction that you think the other two are. Um, as you are running, uh, are you still tied up? I forget. I'm still tied up. Okay. So, but um, I know I could get free if I wanted to. Then I'm going to say because it is technically like you'd be walking half speed, you guys would have to pick her up and carry her. Or Oh, oh, oh okay. Um, can I have the two of you just make a strength check as you're <laughs> going to carry her? Do the... 20. Not 20? Not 20. I'm hanging strong. No? 14. 14, okay. So, yeah, like you, I'm going to say that you can just like, you almost hoist her up on your back. So like, like she's like on, like you're, you're, piggyback you got her, ride. yeah, piggyback ride. And Lilith, you I'm are, right behind. Yeah, you're able to hold her back and make sure she's okay. So you guys are pushing, pushing forward. Can I have you all also, the three of you, make a stealth check because you're trying to be kind of discreet though we also. Yeah. We used to yes. like piggyback rides. She's too grown up. That one's cocked. 22. 22. 18. 18. 18. Wow. All right. You stay. 22. 22. 13 total. 28. 22. All I right. like to try and stay in the shadows as much as possible and like dart between alleys if I can. Sounds good. Um, you don't really know the layout super well of this area, all things considered. Possible. You know the main streets, but the side streets are a different thing. Are you actively going to be like, let's take side streets since you have her on your back? I'd like to, to try. To take side streets and hope that we don't run into anyone on the side streets. Okay, so what happens is this. So you're running through and you're staying in the shadows, trying to like understand the layout of how these side streets might get you in the direction away from the main street, since the main streets are so crowded right now, full of people and city guard. But as you're making your way through, you hit this one alleyway and you swear you hit like almost like a, a, a some sort of no outlet stop here. And as you hit this dead end, you turn around but Fauna, because of your stealth check, somebody like jumps out and you hear their voice from a, from off the corner. Hey, little lady, what are you doing out here at night all by yourself? I unleash stinking cloud. <laughs> <laughs> you were so ready with that. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, is it a, uh, a safe <laughs> throw from it? It is a third <laughs> level... level. Third level spell slot. And do they need to make a, a save? They need to make um, a I constitution think they do. Yeah, a con save. Save throw against poison. Oh, wow. Uh, that is a four. 
So <laughs> does this do damage or is it just like they heave over and they can't breathe? Um, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. <laughs> Creatures that don't breathe, don't need to breathe, or are immune to poison automatically succeed. I'm All right. So. so right away then, like that you <laughs> cast stinking cloud, and he's just like little like, <laughs> and he just starts to vomit up like this very be- sad oatmeal-y mash. Um, that's Let's starting run! to pass <laughs> So you guys Let's turn go! back around and Wait, start to run. Wait, give me a high five first because that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now we go. All right, so being able to escape very quickly with that stinking cloud is still with Fauna on your back. Hold your breath! I think that's hilarious. (laughs) Just don't breathe in. (laughs) You're able to kind of hit a sharp corner and hit another sharp corner, and you actually overshot. (laughs) Um, And you make your way uh, on the opposite end of the main street. Now, you do have to pass the, the biggest main street, which is about a solid 20 feet wide. That's just crowded with people, but you're able to kind of perch behind, like, a empty looking casket and um okay and you kind of gauge there it is the castle the castle area of the castle ward but it's chaos right now and uh, there's a solid 200 250 people okay what's our plan should i release another steam cloud <laughs> that's too many people to be vomiting i think we've got the streets Ew, i would um, vomit i think perhaps we should just wait for a signal from lala so so they're just just wait here, or maybe try and get a little bit closer, but keep hidden. So we just steadily walk through. Okay, sounds good. You're just trying your best to stay together. Yeah, and stay hidden. Yeah. Okay, um, as you're doing so, it's a little tighter than you would like, as you guys are all pushing through. Um, roll a secondary stealth check to the best of your abilities. That's better. Eight. Eight. Okay. Plus Oh, 18. 18, okay. 29. 29, okay. What's your passive perception? 10. 10? All right, how much gold do you have on you? Zero. (laughs) I don't have any gold. Really? Really not? Can I see your character sheet real quick? (laughs) No. Did you roll a nat 20? 23. Oh, okay. If it was a nat 20, I would so give it to you. I'm going to say that as you're trying to push through this, unfortunately, you kind of get jolted at some point. You don't know why. You guys are mostly cloaked in shadow, and that's actually nice because you're able to kind of dip behind other people's chaos and almost uh, not be seen as they're looking over, and you just pass without a trace helps so much. However... You, for a moment, as you get knocked, you kind of lose balance and you're a little loud as the jingling from your coins happen. There's so many people around you that you just stand up and you begin to walk. And then as you're starting to walk through and push through, you do feel like your gold load is a little bit lighter. As you feel your pocket, hip pocket, and you're like, someone just stole 20 gold from me. Wait, how much do you have? Oh, I mean... So someone just, someone just when they had the opportunity, plucked that off you in this chaos. So there's someone pickpocketing around here. Unless it's not from the party, then. It's okay, we're rich right now. We kind of are. kind of want to go stab them. Death later. Stealth first. Fun. All right. I'm definitely killing someone today. <laughs> <laughs> so, push through, a little frustrated that it Pockets are later, but you're able to hit the roped off section where just the city guards. I put are. my coin bag inside. Yeah, yeah, you tuck you tuck that inside and you hold on to it. Tight. <laughs> can we roll? Can I roll perception? And see sure. What I Please see? do. Yes. Twenty, dirty twenty. Nice. All right. So because you're on, this actually works because you're on Moira's back. You get like another foot or two of like uh, eyesight, which for you being a halfling, it's very difficult usually to see. It's a nice view up here. I'll you that. <laughs> yeah. I'm fairly tall. Um, I will also say that because of your current mood, uh, you catch that there's a lot of adventuring parties here with a lot of young, good-looking guys. Um, oh, so it's a little distracting, but with that hyper check, you, you sense them. You know they're around. But you stay focused on what's important. I don't want them right? to notice me right now. I'm really embarrassed. Don't get dis- <laughs> distracted by being Fauna. carried. Oh, it's a piggy Who doesn't like it? I know, but I have a child leash on. It just looks like a rope. 
<laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> But you are able, uh, through the, the very large gate in the center, now you guys kind of kind of push the right-hand side because there's actually like marble texture walls here, like so you cannot see inside of it. There's a very small area, much like Buckingham Palace, where like you're, there's the gated area, but then there's like a secondary area where you can't even see past whatever threshold that is. Um, um, so you're kind of getting the, 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 the Buckingham Palace view here, which is only about... I'd say about 50 to 60 feet wide before it just gets cut off. So you had to push center. There's tons of city guard here. It's about too deep. Um, a lot of younger folk, young men and women who are uh, probably lower level who are just holding this rope and making sure people don't push in as curiosity is being struck. Also, at this point, after the chaos is happening for about the last 10, 15, 20 minutes or so, um, you guys are actually like catching that the commotion's kind of lessening now. The curiosity's kind of dipping down as certain adventures are getting turned away. Um, there's also some other policemen and city guard around who are uh, arresting other people for, <laughs> for petty crimes. So stuff's going on right now and people are taking advantage of it or trying to help. As you hit that section in that open iron rot, like the beautiful, like gold trimmed gate, you can see through the, the, the gate that there seems to be Four or five palace-like structures, the large black staff tower, some smaller homes, mansions, or things of that sort, all beautiful white marble minus the black staff tower. And you do see what it seems to be in the center, about 200 feet, 150 feet away from you, just on the cusp, like you can barely see it, but because of the low light, you're actually able to catch that there's some sort of caravan. And it seems to be moving, or there seems to be people moving towards it, but you you can kind of gauge. You see a little bit of what's happening on the inside. A little bit. Can I squeeze through the gate? Am I small enough? I am oh. going to say <clears throat> it looks like it's not small enough for halfling. They've taken precautions uh, so people cannot just walk in. But there's a lot of people, city guardsmen, coming in and out of the doors. So about once every 30 seconds, someone's opening that door and ro running out. So usually about four to five people per session. They're almost swapping out information they're giving each other orders i gotta um, try and sneak through yeah i pass without trees yeah i mean if you first want to try it Lana. first i have to sneak out of her bag to to try do it. you want to let them know you're doing this or are you just yeah, gonna try to do it, do it i mean my eyes are on you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's she's staring right at your back well okay first we're gonna try and get out of the backpack situation Woo! okay uh just make a dex check okay Okay, so you try to find the, like, knot that you know that if you pull that knot, you're out of this. But, like, it's not where you thought it was. It's like, you think that... Oh! Where you thought it was. Oh, we're full of it today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this, is, this is bad. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, I you're going to need... I try and I fail, gonna and... You're going to need... Guys. Uh, uh, I could get out of this. Can we try and get in? Yes. I would like to try and get in if we can. That's where all the shit is happening. Something's happening. People I'm need help. Bored. People need help. <laughs> How we long do we have this pass without trace? No. And you're about twenty minutes in, so you have another forty minutes to pass without trace. Okay. We have some time. Okay. I'm down to go in. Just this gated area. And is also, it, you know, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna bless us. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. So you, your hands are kind of tied to the side. You have to touch the bless, are tied. right? Oh, not any longer? Her hands were never tied. Oh, it's the backpack. They were never tied. I see. Backpack. She's in a little snuggy backpack, yeah. I see. You know those, the, the like backpacks that people have on their kids in Disneyland? It's like a monkey like, that's holding on to With the you. leash. Yep. With the, the tail. There you go. Oh, that's great. Oh, you get to roll that if you need it. Oh. Thank you. It's a little It's a little up. blessing. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, my darling. So you just bless your friends here. I've been annoyed with you, but I care about you and love you still. Yeah, I'm taking <laughs> you a piggyback ride. I thought you liked it. So back when you were a child, I don't actually have to touch. Up on us. No, bless is not touch. Bless is not touch. Oh, that's great. So you can just say it. You don't even have to touch him. Bless you guys. <laughs> you feel a little light of the thunder in your hearts as she says that. Um, but really, what what this is is there's a, a solid wall of people um, in front. So you're gonna have to push past these guards in some sort of way. Then the second thing is like you'll have to time Stingle out. <laughs> Wait. 
can I uh, take her off my back and hand her to Lilith and say, I, I could miss you step over. Do you think that you two can find a way in? I have Dimension Door. Might be able to. When did you get Dimension Door? Since we did. <coughs> <know. coughs> That's Let awesome. See. Yes, 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 yes. Dimension Door is amazing. Let's see. Um, can I do that with her? On my, you can, like, you can I take think someone you can through. bring one person through. Of I'm the same size? Certain. Yes. Yes. So. Oh, no, I already used. Did I get my spell slot back with the rest? No, it hasn't been a long rest yet. Yes. So. No. Dimension Door? Okay. Wait, what did I use that on? To get, so this is my to get past the last gate. Um, right. When you guys were coming after me. Lots of gates. Right. That one's right. the castle yes. Sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, mum, 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 mum. I could. I have a disguise kit. Can you disguise both of you? I could disguise us both as um, city guards. Those city guards. Usually, so a really... disguise kit takes an hour to put um, on. Usually. No. Um, do you have a disguise self? I'm gonna say you could but do it. You, we're past without trace, so let's just try to like. You want to just you try and run through? Yeah. Yeah, but you're just gonna try and go through at one of the open opportune moments. Wait, can I try? Okay. Can I miss you step? Will it work? On the other side of the gate? Yeah, you can try. Okay, I'm gonna try and miss you step over to the other side of the gate. All right, you take a moment. You focus. Can I have you roll a? I want this to be. Let's have this be a wisdom saving throw. Okie doke. Am I running right into Uh-oh. the gate? What's happening? We'll see. We'll see. Wisdom saving throw? Yep. <gasps> oh, 20! So 24. Okay, okay. Because it's a net 20 for okay. canon. Why? You take a moment, and as you try to create this enchantment and push it through and then, like, transport yourself onto the other side, you feel, like, a pressure that's trying to divert okay, yeah, yeah. it. And push you in a different direction, almost as if there's some sort of protection spell yeah. that's going to force it in a different direction. So you don't know where you might have ended up, mm-hmm. but it was trying to make it so you could not enter. There is some sort of protective magic on the exterior of this entrance point. Even with my, I'm sorry, Nat Twenty. Okay, well, um, I'm just going to follow you then and try and get to the other side because my messy step doesn't work. I figured it might not, but it was worth a shot. All right, so you guys are going to try to push through the city guard. Can I have you guys roll a string check? Try to do that. Oh. It was rolling so well. 19. Okay. 16. 7. <laughs> okay, so this is like, you know... But like, I'm holding her, right? Yeah. yeah, she is holding me, that's true. Okay, I'm going to say that because of how tight this is, it's like you'd have to, and you're not trying to rouse suspicion here. You're not trying to, like, rip two people apart and have them get curious about why that happened. So it takes a moment as you have to, like, kind of, like, essentially get the leash because you haven't fully gone out of the rope yet, have you? So you have to hold on to the leash section as you push through and Moira goes, and you're able to make it on the other side just quietly enough, but that leash, like, Fauna can't get through like two of these city guys that kind of get closer together as they feel that push. And right now she's like stuck in the swarm of chaos as the two of you are on the outside of it. Can I bend down and try and pull her through their legs? All right. I'm just, can I just like duck and crawl between them? You can try. I let's can try. Let's try to, let's make this uh, be, and don't forget you have Bless too, which is a 1d4 that you get to add to your rolls right now. So don't You're forget blessed. that. Um, so you take a moment, <laughs> try to yank, uh, yank her through Sweet. as you try to, uh, crawl. Make this be a dex check. Is it stealth? Yeah, that was a strength. Uh, no, just a dex check to see if you can get through the chaos. Fourteen. <laughs> okay. So, um, sorry. So as you Wait, like, do I, I bless. Should I bless so at this moment? Oh, you shouldn't be adding bless to all of your spells. You can do it for a full minute, like to any of your checks. Oh, I didn't know it was a continuous thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I think it's a one oh. minute continuous spell, if I'm not mistaken. Fifteen. Fifteen. And do you mind taking bless just so they know uh, yeah. their benefits of bless? I think it's one minute. You bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the attack roll or saving throw. Yeah. Oh. So it's a saving throw. That's oh, so it. I should have been blessed on my... On the save throw. Save. On um, the saves. Oh, only on... It says ability check. Oh, I thought you said saving throws only. Or ability check. Yay! Mm-hmm. So that was correct. Nice. Oh, wait. Attack roll. Oh. Attack roll. 
<laughs> yes. I know these spells can get so minute, and I'm always like, oh, okay. I'm learning new things all the time. Okay, Check yeah. Um, I'm guessing on ability. Just attack. Or so, yeah. so, but it takes a moment as you, like... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have you now roll a con saving throw okay. after you did that dex check real quick. So this is when you could add a bless. A con save. 16, 17, 18, 19. So what happens is, is Fauna, you get on all fours, like ready to climb through as you like begin to pull her. And these city guards are like big men and women trying to like stop people from coming through. One of them doesn't even see you, steps on your back, crunch as you get and you Whoa. take... Uh, five points of bludgeoning damage just on your foot. You're currently pinned down, not prone, like pinned down by the foot. And you're like squirming underneath it as you like try not to retch because that was such a hard hit. And with what's happening right now with your body, you feel very sensitive to these sensations, but you're, you do not throw up or vomit. But she's pinned can down. I, she's she's I, like... Um, kind of hide myself around a corner, get a javelin and whack him in the back of the knee just to make his knee like... We? So what I need you guys to do after that happened, just the three of you roll a stealth check to try to stay quiet as this is happening. Remember to add Ted and your bless. 24. Wait, no, this is ability check, right? Yeah, ability yeah, yeah. check, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, 18. 26. 26, okay. Wait, what so, am I rolling? Stealth, uh, stealth. stealth check. Oh, wait, I have it. 20. 20, okay. So you guys feel like after you see this, you almost are like, oh, but you remember to stay quiet, not to raise your voices, keep... Keep up the suspicion that nothing's, you know, you're not here on the other side of the wall of the men, women, guard. And you just kind of hunker down and you see her pinned and she's like trying to squirm out. So you have full gauge of the situation. No one seems to notice you yet. So do what you will. But right now you're like stuck beneath his foot and you don't know how to get out. But can I, can I do what I... You want to try to hit him with the back of your Just on the back of the knee. You know how you get hit in the back of the knee. Yeah. Even even if it's just a tap and your knee kind of goes, oh, oh. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to just like real quick and and appear as if I'm just like part of the mess. So this is not to hurt him. So so no, can I just have it be a strength check real quick? One. A one. No. So this is what happens. Uh, you take no. your lance. You said javelin. The your javelin. The, the oh. wood part, not the sharp part. You take the wood part and you turn it around and you whack him. But you whack him so well that you didn't realize that this is a very specific formation that they created that is strong on one side and weak on the other. So, as you hit the back of his leg, one by one like dominoes they fall. As all these people in the street are starting to push through <gasps> towards the gate. It's wrong. And it's just chaos in the street right now. As people are starting to push their way towards the palace, you see the city guards with like fear in their eyes as you can hear them screaming as they're going to close the gate and you can hear them like like close the gate on the gate like we don't have time put the barriers barriers so what can I scoop I, her up? I, I, yeah, can I, yeah up? you can grab her at this point i've got her all right you guys are 10 feet away but right now they're closing that gate and you can run. see the city guards yeah. are running through we're just gonna run book it um, okay uh so athletics athletics trick just try to make it try to make it you guys no uh, do we add anything yeah, uh, just a check. No, just a athletics. athletics 18. Check. Wait, you mean acrobat? Oh, uh, athletics. 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 Uh, 25. 25? Okay. 18. Okay, so you're able to make it through, like, realizing the panic that's set in your eyes as you accidentally did this too well. You I'm turn around. I'm holding her. Oh, you, okay. Yeah, we right. scoop her up. I'll say yeah. that you you scoop her up. You're able to just get through without create, creating too much suspicion. It does provide you more cover. As the gates, like, slam behind you, you see all of these wards. You see other people and adventurers having made their way in, too. And they're, the city guard are trying to push them all back. Like, there's a solid 15 to 20 people right now who should not be in here who have made it in. Uh, like, a party that's, like, closed door. But, like, all the people are pushing into the party. And you two... From a distance, catch this happening too. There's warnings going off, alarms. You hear like like even more commotion as people are trying to handle and shutting down the front of the palace. You can hear people talking about full lockdown. Like it's crazy. <gasps> it was a bad plan. Is there, can I see any place where, where we could possibly hide, be out of sight, just away and tucked in a corner somewhere? This is perception? An, yes, I'll have you guys roll a perception check quickly as this is happening. <laughs> 19. 19. Um, Nine. Nine? Okay, so as you're like, uh, and you're just in the arms, you're, you're getting thrown around, like you can't really see. Um, you are able to catch that this is an open courtyard, like a meeting, palace meeting grounds where the people will uh, have their horses or do parades or something of some sort of nature. 
the closest thing towards you right now, how wide and how big this is. Solid 150, is 200 there a feet away. Can hide? No, not right now. The only thing that Isn't you like can an catch. It's open area. It's all open. It's like an o- like open a, courtyard. A giant courtyard. And then huge, like, huge black staff tower in the distance. This ginormous palace in the center. These big white marble structured buildings on the right hand side where you two are currently. Um, otherwise, there's the caravan in the center and all these people who look like they're shackled, but it's just people and the buildings very far away. Are there any shadows? Are there any shadows we can run into? Yeah. I can cast darkness. I can cast Leobid's tidy hut for us. <gasps> oh, just a tidy hut <laughs> in the middle of Aren't the people going to notice that? If we go to that. a shadow, it takes a minute to cast those, so we'd have to run to a shadow and hide that I'd have to cast. The closest thing would be, like, bolting about 150 feet away towards Blackstaff Tower and trying to take, like repose in its shadow but you have no idea and you witnessing the protective magics of what was on the outskirts of this knowing that only physical entry is allowed or whatever this might be you have no idea what sort of protections protections could be the closer you get to these very large buildings i'm going to obviously let those two know what happened and what i felt and and, you know uh. so as this is happening you hear the city guards and people are starting to break away from you to the point that like there's not cover, there's not adventurers around you, there's not city folk, there's nobody. Like, right now you're going to be in open space, like, semi-stealth. I can start a fire. Where are they, where are they going? <laughs> Wait, where are they going? Degree people are dispersing, where are they going? The city guards are grabbing them and trying and questioning them. There's right questioning the them. Shadows. Taking them off. Okay, um, I think that we should oh, I could light a fire make, a, make a break here. for it. Just make a break for to it. create a distraction and then run to the shadows and make a plan. Okay. You will be so busy putting out the fire. Oh. Oh. That's a bad omen. That is a bad omen. <laughs> the ghost oh, just knocked out the bird. Oh, um, <laughs> my guides are telling me to not start a fire. <laughs> I'm going to. I think that it uh, might hurt more than withdraw. Yeah, let's just run to the shadows. I start bleeding just, out. Okay, we're gonna, no, don't out. We're going to just run to the shadows. Run as fast okay, as we can. Okay, which shadows? There's like there's there, there's the Blackstaff Tower. There's this oh. other beautiful palace in the center. The there's a white marble. Whatever's closest. Okay, yeah. that's the closest thing is Blackstaff Tower. Okay, let's go to the tower. Oh my God. Okay, oh, I've got it. Kelly's like excited about what's horrible <laughs> what horrible gonna happen things when we go towards Blackstaff Tower. <laughs> She's like, okay, okay. Yeah. So um, as you're running up towards this very unique looking tower, as you guys are able to kind of like have your eyes adjust to it, um, it seems to be almost spire like. Uh, there's some sort of main entrance. Um, it, it, it's it's hard to tell what this could be like, but as you're just starting to walk towards it, just run. You see that there's a gate also in front of this section. Um, that seems to also secondary gate. So, like, you can't even... There's act- no shadows we can run to, then. Is there, a, like, a corner of the gate? Uh, all right, so if you walk, like, oh, if you, like, run on the outside of the gate all the way to the left-hand side in the pocket where the, this, this, like, smaller gate meets the larger marbled gate mm-hmm. that oversees this whole area, you could probably hide in that corner. Okay, go to, go to that corner. Okay, so this is a solid 200-foot run, just, like, bolting it as you guys are running. So, still check from the three of you. Oh, God. Thirty. Oh, well, we get to add ten. Yeah. yeah. So twenty. Fifteen. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. So you, in uh, well, uh, excuse me, Fauna's hands are able to run and just bolt. Moira. Oh no. As you're running and you like don't realize it, but your armor is giving you away, and suddenly a solid group of six or seven of these guards who were walking around in pockets stop you. And one of them goes, you, you have no authority, no entrance in here. What are you doing? Um, I, I understand that you are curious, no doubt. You have a, a I'm ability. I'm curious. Please listen to me. My name is Lady Mora Mwiren, and I have some information. I know it is impossible to talk to Madame Silverhand, but I, I feel Information I about must... what? The... Are you a curious adventurer? Are you no. somebody who is trying to... No, the, the robberies. Hmm. I saw something, and I would like to report it. And it, it, it concerns a member of her, her closer party, one of the masked lords. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Five. Five? Um, Wait! Ten. Ten? Because it's a six. Okay. This person looks drained and exhausted, and like this is the hundredth time they've said this to somebody who's tried to come into the tower or handle the situation, and she's, I'm sorry, but we cannot 
uh, attend to these inquiries. Uh, everyone's saying they have information about this. I don't know what's real or not. We are going to have to bring it to court in the next week or so when we can and do a thorough investigation. I'm sorry, madame. Can but I sort of like very stealthily have my ring, my signet ring that shows that I'm a noble and just be like, I mean, what I'm trying to say is, do I get anything from my noble perks? Because I'll give you, I'll give you an advantage as okay. you slowly put your hand just up with your like, ring on. <laughs> I am a noble one. Yes. Please listen to me. I'm just trying to help. 18. Okay. As, sh- as you bring up the ring, you hear like a... I understand protocol. You must speak with a higher level senior... Fine, Farlin, Farlin, as she's like calling him over. Um, this very large man, this uh, short buzz cut, deep set blue eyes, wearing very beautiful armor, ornate armor that maybe has seen the light of battle in some sort of way, but is clearly a higher level general. He begins to walk towards you. Arms kind of skeptically at his sides. He's got a very specific walk mm-hmm. as he kind of peers you down and is trying to gauge what you need. He puts his hands in front of him. Keep my hands away from the weapons. I don't want to be threatening at all. He just gives you a deep nod. Can I help you? What's your name? Lady Moiram Weirin of Green Run. Green Run. I see. May I help you right now? You can see we have a bit of a situation in our hands. Yes, I understand. Uh, And if there's any way that I can help, I know that thousands of people are attempting to help you. Uh, Point me in the direction and I will help. But I have some information that I might... I think might be important to your cause about the robberies. It's unnerving. How did you get in here? Who granted you access? <sighs> My nobility was given access. Hmm. It's amazing what would happen if you throw your name around, and unfortunately I did use it. He kind of looks to his, his the, the, the underling next to him, the, this younger woman who was just clearly trying to earn her rank, and she's like, it's, it's a really nice ring. Please, <laughs> please, do not... Do not look down on her. I promise the information that I have is vital. Very well, if you say so. We are going to be having a very private meeting in no more than half an hour from now. We will take any sort of thoughts or insight that you might have. We're doing it in the Marble Palace just across the way here in the front court. It does have something to do with a masked lord who I think might have stolen from the madam. I know you don't believe me, and that's perfectly fine. As everyone else starts to laugh, too. And he just kind (laughs) of, he puts his hand on your shoulder and just pats you twice. She was missing some earrings, was she not? Giant green with some some blue. Okay, make a persuasion check. 19. As the laughter's happening, (laughs) and you say that, he stops, and he just turns to you. And he looks at you, he looks at you like, how do you know this? You may search me if you wish. And as this is happening, in the chaos of the, of the center point of the palace, in the courtyard, the marbled courtyard, we're going to take a 15 or 10 minute break or so (laughs) at the height of the investigation beginning. It was up from there. Good job, you guys. (laughs) We're gonna get on chat so we can chat with you guys. Send us your questions. Send us questions. This is so many things happened that I wasn't expecting. Y'all are so stressed. I'm so stressed. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go lay down. I need a snack. You guys are doing so good though. It's so fun. It's really hard to break into the palace area of Waterdeep. Like, that's not easy. This specific situation would happen. Oh, I should have cast Guidance, not... Oh, Guidance. The Guidance is it. Yeah. But that's only one... Oh, this is great, though, for save, like yeah. saving throws. Like, if you get in yourself into a very dangerous situation, that's awesome. Okay, good. good job, I'm you glad. guys. I'm super persuasive. Good fun. I'm going to pause the oh, music for now and the ambiance okay. noise. We you guys chat. I'm gonna talk with okay. you guys. All right. Uh, yeah, here we are in chat, so... Mm. Happy Halloween. We're... Freaking stressed. <laughs> My it's heart hard. is beating so hard right now. Um, what are <laughs> we dressed as? We are dressed as Death. spooky versions of our characters. Dead Honestly, versions of our characters. I am a dead pixie, because I don't know if you can see, but I've got a glitter, glitter all over my skull. Yeah, Make we're dressed as, as uh, dead versions of our characters, which may come true, depending on what happens next. Uh, 
I hope this attractive blue-eyed man doesn't stab me. Thanks, Akisha. While I die, I'll tell him I think he's cute. <laughs> I tell him I think he's cute. Uh, this is a question for Lilith when she gets back. Is Lilith feeling pain from her horn damage? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Allie says yes. Yes, she is. It's crazy. There's like a ghost in the... Like my, my horns yeah. are falling. Your yeah. horns are falling. I know. I'm going to fix your horns later. Yeah, I know. It probably looks more like I have crazy ears today, but that's okay. Kim, can I have a red line? Mm -hmm. I got three for me. Oh, <laughs> Allie, will you get family. me some red? <gasps> I'm going to go over there. Anyway. It's called true love right there. there. Do you yeah, feel like there's like a spooky okay. ghost in the, uh, in the uh, studio today so messing spells. with all of our horns? All of them. All of like them. Yeah. I feel like I should take a feat at this point. What's the question? I know. What feats or spells are you looking forward to when you level up? Ooh. Dallas, I was thinking of gonna step up. I don't would be to have like spooky wings tonight, but I don't have any spooky wings, so. By the way, whenever I'm looking down at my phone, I swear I'm still totally engaged. I'm just looking up other animal stats to see what animal oh, options I can turn into. You guys are great. You guys are bad. always. Like, I look like I'm just fucking around on my phone. I'm legit looking up. Like, I, I genuinely love incorporating technology Hi, into the as much as I can. So, okay. not a problem. Not a problem. We're up Thank so you. early or up so late. Wait, what? Uh, Dranishka says, girls, hi, it's 4am, oh, Kelly, Kelly. and I woke up from jet lag. Kelly. Hi. Oh, we miss you. Hope shooting's going well. What's, what's Dranishka up to right now? What's she doing? Yeah, tell us. Give us some insight. <laughs> I'll roll an insight check for Are you. Are dragonborn in... Oh. It's near Transylvania-ish. <laughs> Shmulgaria? Shmulgaria. Shmulgaria. <laughs> Someone says, tonight it's Fauna the Vampire and her undead army. I know, I need to get more undead. Oh, yeah, Mr. Um, I miss my army. And Mr. Gabriel Bubbles. Knight says, um... Such a bummer. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I got distracted by Kellen. Um, <laughs> uh, what are, really what are, what's movie. our favorite candy? Ooh, you know these who's are really cool. I mean, I love those say that. Are we allowed to say so brands? Good. I think we can. We're allowed to say what we love. As long as we're like, it's clearly not to I just like peanut butter and stuff. chocolate together. <laughs> That's yeah, not really good. Candy. My um, favorite candy growing up was Sour Punch Straws, I think they're oh, called. Oh, yeah, they're so good. So good. So good. I used to like um, eat those like every day. Rachel, <laughs> is, uh, is Moira from the Greek word for fate? What, what, what? Um... Someone asks, is Moria coming from the Greek word fate? Uh, yes. Also, I just really like the name. Also, she just really likes the name. But yes. But, but she, Greek she, she, a lot of what I have in mind for her is her fighting her own fate, which is a super um, Greek idea. All of the, the Greek epics, uh, the Odyssey, the Iliad, everything, it was about... The Greeks fighting their own fate and not being able to get away from it because it's fate. So, yeah. Let me give one. Oh, did Kim get more? I was going to give her one of once you brown, they got more. Um, I will no, we are not doing the raffle tonight. No, so don't worry. We're, we're, you're not late. There was no raffle. Today. Everyone wins the raffle of friendship. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's a good raffle. You win the raffle of our heart. Yes. That's like not a thing. Oh my god. But it could be a thing. It could be. It could be a thing. Why not? Um, I will, how about for gifts, we tell you what we're going as for Halloween or what we did go as for Halloween. I think that'd be a fun little yeah. shared moment. I would love to know what some of you guys are doing. Like if you got any cool costumes, yeah. I'd love to hear about yeah, it. Yeah, tell us about your Halloween costumes. Yes, please. Yeah. We will tell you. Is about anyone about going as one of us? That would be cool. That would be crazy. That'd be so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but we're going. Cool. The three of us stay tuned on the meads because I'm gonna post. Hopefully, we post about it if we can figure out which night we're gonna do it. When we're gonna meet together? Um, yeah. But I'm working on Halloween. Hocus pocus. <laughs> we're gonna do hocus pocus. We're gonna meet the Sanderson oh, sisters. Yeah. Sanderson sisters. It's revealed. <laughs> Who's who? I'm Kathy and Jimmy. Yeah. I so badly want to be Kathy and Jimmy. I'm Winifred. Mary. Winifred. Wait. And I'm gonna be Sarah. Sarah Mary. Bette Midler. You're Bette Midler. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. Sarah Jessica Parker. That's JP. Cool. Good old that wig is amazing, by the way. It's kind Thanks. of been a dream. Just... It's kind of been a dream of mine to do the Sanderson sisters, so mm -hmm. that's really exciting. I, I normally would never be able to be one of them. I'm so excited. Someone, so excited uh, Gabriel Knight 52, asked, Is GGG Girls only forever? 
Most of the time, yes. We did do boys' butts blurry <laughs> last really year. We'll do another one, And right? we are going to yeah. do another yeah. one this year. We don't know when yet, so it's but it's going to happen. forever. And we, we could have... love boys, we, too. We love, love guests. We don't care. Yeah. yeah. But we also love getting all the awesome D&D girls we know involved. It's true. Also true. Yeah, it's Because there are so many great... A lot of our friends are girls, and they all want to play. So we bring them in. It's also exciting, too, because it's, like, it's fun being able to, like, introduce people, too, mm-hmm. to D&D. And, I, like, some people need the, the like, you know, like, because cure- they have different skills. Everyone's got different skills. Mm-hmm. Some people love games. Some people love, you know, role-playing. So it's nice when you can open up the door for mm-hmm. uh, friends of ours who are curious about it and, like, kind yeah. of, like, I love to coax people. them into And then we got, we got the boyfriends involved yeah. in uh, yeah. Boys yeah. 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 Were they, were they, like... I need more kind of thing. Yeah, yeah they, Kelly's, want, they both want to play. Oh, more. they're super down to play. <laughs> Kelly's horns are rebelling tonight. Um, so are Lilith. We are going to, and so actually, yes, yeah, so are Lilith. So we're going to try to fix fix those. Yeah, what do they look like? Do they kind of look like um, they match? They're they match at least. Yeah. yeah, they're just kind of like yeah. lying down. It's it's kind of like they're they're. Oh God, what is it? Not an antelope, but there are horns that go back like that. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah. Someone like, says a like, ghost keeps knocking them down. Yeah. I think that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to lie. I uh, Halloween and I don't have a great history. I got a lot of stories of me being, like, what? accidentally. I got, there was one night I got... This is a fun little story. This is like a raffle of your heart kind of thing because it's like a raffle if I'm going to survive <laughs> Halloween every year. Because uh, I think that there's spirits no. that follow me. Um, I once got jumped... What? And robbed by five people, but at what? Five, four people when I was 14 years old and trick or treating freshman year of high school, which led to a huge car chase sequence. It was a crazy scenario. But then the year after, I got caught on fire. What? So my hair got caught on fire. And oh. yeah, yeah. Like every year, something like crazy happens because oh you know, the spirit realm and our realm get real close and mm-hmm. they like to come out and they like to haunt me. Is what I tell myself. You're vexed. Well, why don't we do some, like, protection magic yeah. on you? Ooh. Stay away from the pool. Stay away from open flame. We're just going to put you in a bubble. We're going to wrangle you. And then you're going to have a really there's good gonna Halloween. Be, there's going to be, like, three bodyguards around yeah. you. Yeah. At all I'm times over. on Halloween. Just, like, making sure she doesn't, yeah. like, <laughs> fall. Too close to the flame. Too close to the floor. Like, too close to the um, like, asked what, like what it will take for them to stop fucking with you? If I haven't. Spirits. I haven't yet because it's like, well, I kind of had to come to peace with it. See, the thing is, this is why I don't watch ghost movies or like anything about haunting because I don't like to open that door of entry point because I really do think that there's a very close proximity to me. And um, now that I've kind of made like, like come to peace with it and like laughed about it, as like, I've, I've discovered this is so crazy. As long as I acknowledge them and as long as I um, participate a little bit, in like Halloween or like a recognition of death or like things like that, yeah. then nothing happens. It's the years where like I'm getting too yeah. immersed about it or getting too in my head about it that they come out. It's like a trick or treat. They always choose the trick on me, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So I've you are it's best. been much better the um, past eight years or so. E Hicks eighty five. That is crazy. Well, here's some good news. Mm-hmm. Ehix85 says, Not a question, but it is on my bucket list to play in a game ran by Kelly. You're an amazing DM. It would be so fun to play with you all. It's true. She's, she's a crazy DM. She's, she's, she's amazing. That'd be magical if one day we could, like, run she's a game with, parties. you know. Yeah. <laughs> it would be amazing if one day we could run a session and just bring in, like, maybe a convention or something. That would be so much fun. Yeah. Just do, like, a 15-minute, you know, like a bite-sized game where we get to like hang out and do a little thing that would together. be so great. awesome uh, kellen said that she brought her horns to bulgaria she did yes. <laughs> kellen you have to take photos yes photos. we want to see them uh, Bulgaria. yes we do sometimes have guest players yeah mm-hmm. we're well, probably well, gonna have one yeah we'll probably have some while kellen's away yeah once or twice we, we you know we're, we're gonna keep keep posted keep tuned because we like to surprise you guys as well with like Last minute folk and maybe Sujata don't no. know. Someone asked, what source does Lala's pixie come from? Like, um, my stats and stuff? Uh, it's from the D&D wiki page. Homebrew. Homebrew. It's a homebrew yeah. pixie. Like a hybrid D&D Pathfinder mm-hmm. picks, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you uh, hit me up on Twitter, I can DM you a link. Or reply you a link. I can send you a link. 
I think down the line that would be so cool if there's like an official module released. Who wouldn't want to play like a sprite or pixie or something cute and, and be so sparkly? Because like, they, I mean, they awesome. do have pixies in the monster manual, but I don't think there's as much glitter. Uh, <laughs> boring. Not more boring, glitter. Everyone needs more glitter. How, I can't um, stop eating. <laughs> Sujata is incredibly break. busy. She's a busy, busy yeah. woman. She's yes. writing. She's pitching shows. She's starring in movies. She's so busy. Yeah. Rightfully so. I mean, like, it's so exciting to be surrounded. You guys are all doing so much. Some of us are moving. Some of us are, like, yeah. some, some of us, us are, are moving. Yeah. The sisters are both moving. Yeah. We just bought a house, so we're renovating. Not me. She so was excited. <laughs> My fiance and I bought a house. Fiance. So big. Fiance. Such a big deal. It's so Wrong cool. Wrong hand. My fiance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, we hitting all these fun, like, life oh. marks, you know? Mm -hmm. Travel, work, love. Thank you, TK has joined the break for providing that link. <laughs> And thanks for tuning in to our later show today. It's yeah, really, thank it's you. Really, uh, um, I'm glad you guys made it in without getting killed or Dallas, arrested. Dallas says he should be Ichabod's mom for Halloween next year. Yes. Dallas, please. Please, Dallas, please. Oh. Where's everyone tuning in from? Yeah, we I know, I feel like, like well, I feel like today. we often have people from Europe, but it's way too late now. Yeah. yeah. They said it's like, it started at 1 a.m. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Moluk said that. Wow, that's, yeah, that's... Said that they were not to get catch the VOD. Sorry for anyone tuning in super early, but also thanks. Yeah. We appreciate it. It's like, you know, it's darker outside. It's spooky time, you know. Most D&D people I know play at night. It's ambiance, isn't it? Very ambiance Especially if you're doing Ravenloft. Yeah. I have, um... Oh. Um, Mentioam says, how long does the show normally run? It's 2.35 a.m. here in London. Oh. We, uh, play... Not more than 25. Uh, we go oh, till, no. uh, 8.30. 8.30. 8 so, so about 45 tonight. more minutes. 45 more minutes. Oh, yeah. I thought we were going till 9. No, oh, I thought it was a two and a half it's hour. two and a half hour. Oh, yeah! It's always, it's always uh -huh. two, our show is always two I and a half. I forget. I forget <laughs> these I forget where the 30 minutes goes. It's that, like, Ooh. half an hour where I'm always like... Where does it move? Where does Florida, it move? Usually we start New in New York, <laughs> Oklahoma, oh, oh. Canada. Canada! Hey! Canada! Hey. Michigan! Hey. Sweden. Sweden. Sweden! Sweden! Hello! Well, hi! It's far. Kentucky, what time is it? Australia. Portugal. Hi, Australia. Australia. What? In the UK. Is this is home around the world. We're going to be. Awesome. We're gonna be hey, here's a some fun. Oh, I'm, I'm from Texas. Erica and I. Erica and I are going to be in London in March. Yeah! What? Well, and I'm going to be doing D&D &D in London. Uh, I'm going to be, you Sorry. guys can actually, you guys should play a game while you're there. Yeah, you oh, guys can yeah. actually like, get yeah, tickets like, and play with me. I'm going to do this thing with Uncommon oh, Trust yes, called D&D yes, yes, yes. in a Castle. And uh, Maze Arcana does it too, like, where you get to go for weeks and play with people. And uh -huh. I'm going to be in Newcastle and that sounds like so DMing. Much fun. And I'm so excited because like, I'm obsessed with London and England in general and all things. So to be in a castle playing D&D, &D, it's like a bucket list item. I'm so honored. So cool. Um, mm -hmm. I'll have That's to tell so you guys fun. all about it. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I think I know about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I recommend to you. I recommend it to you. I'm really excited. <laughs> Michigan, Sweden. Oh, wait, we've heard Sweden. Birmingham, UK. Oh. Then again, Birmingham. San Diego. Not too far. <laughs> Indianapolis, Greece. Ooh. Ooh. Greece. Greece Wichita, is Kansas. Manchester. Wichita? I, I was in Manchester. My family's from Wichita. That's amazing. I love it. Wichita. It's like all around the world. I get, I'm like getting emotional as they're saying all these places, I know. and I'm like, New Zealand, oh my God. Yes. New Zealand, Ohio, Kiwis. My oh. husband, oh. my future husbands from Ohio. Oh. Look at this wonderful, husband. this wonderful game bringing people like all around the world together. It's just, it's gonna make me That's cry. Crazy. Thank you for joining us. Guys. <laughs> Still up. All right. Ooh, it looks like we're at a we're at a countdown for the game to start up again, yes. you guys. For if we're good oh, yeah. to go and yes. Thank you for again tuning in. All, All right. right, closing chat now. Closing the chat. Thanks, Thanks you guys. Chat. We'll see you after. Uh, uh, yeah, hit us up on Twitter if you have more questions. Yeah. Yes. Always question us on Twitter. That's totally. Fun. And we will give our handles at the end of the session. Yeah. And yes. hashtag Girls Got Glory. That's a good uh, way to find us. Love me. Um, so let's pick it up from where we left off. Hey, it is currently insanity as this 
the whole front area of the palace had been closed and put on lockdown, it seems like. Um, it's There's a storm of noise occurring. Moira has just engaged in a conversation with this uh, stout-looking uh, blonde-haired man as he kind of is just staring at you. And then after you said that, he just takes a moment and he goes, looking into you. I'm sorry. Do you believe me? I don't see why you would come into the courtyard of the Palace of Waterdeep and just spread out that information if at least you didn't have a little bit more. Yes, I would not willfully put myself in danger if I did not have important information. Those earrings, you know, she, um... She's been looking for them for some time now. They didn't go missing in the last 24 hours or so. It's been a couple days, hasn't it? So here's the thing. I have a couple of friends. We are an adventuring party. I am a paladin of Helm. All that I want is to help people. Unfortunately, my friend saw something shiny, followed it. We ended up in a bit of a, a precarious situation with some... Before you continue, okay. he waves his hands and everybody else kind of skeptically looks at him as they begin to break away. Okay. And he's giving you space right now. Like He doesn't want all of his men and women around him overhearing this conversation. Are we hiding in the shadows watching this? You're far, like you you booked it about 125 feet away from here. I'm assuming that watching? you guys were getting ready to cast uh, a, a tiny hut and then you just saw Moira was caught up, like stopped by... Uh, a very large woman who so was like, watching do not continue. we're watching intently. Yes, you're watching intently. Just on the cusp of your vision. You have to get about 120 feet, feet away to really see it. But Can I also cast sending to um, Lala? Sure. To sending, I think sending, you just, uh, what's the radius of sending? Um, it's uh, range is unlimited. Unlimited, okay. It's okay. just a creature you're familiar with. Sir? Sure. So you take a moment. Focus. Okay, yes, so maybe? so I focus. I send a message to Lala that says, "We're in the castle. Where are you? Do you have any information?" Because I I think I can send one message of twenty five words or less. Okay. And the creature hears the message in its mind, recognizes you as the sender, and can answer in a like manner immediately. Okay. Um, I'm going to say. Um, Dropped the earrings in front of her. A hooded figure took it. Rowan pooped on them. <laughs> but I also asked, where are you? Oh. <laughs> right. White, uh, by the white marble building, or on top of the white marble building. Okay. So you get a couple pings of information as well as, like, general location as you kind of look in that direction. You see the building by this day. Mm -hmm. Did you find out anything? Lala's over there. She dropped the earrings. One of the guards got them. Rowan pooped on that guard. <laughs> Teamwork. Oh, wait. I thought I was. <laughs> I was like halfway into it. I was like, like, interesting. Okay. She just uh, suddenly, uh, it's like when Puberty hits a boy and his voice just drops. <laughs> yeah, she's been going through a lot of hormonal wow. changes here. <laughs> Things are happening. I'm becoming more of a woman. <laughs> And my nose cleared for a second. <laughs> Should we maybe go over there? Let's stay where we're safe and observe what happens with Moira. And at least we know what direction they're at and what's happening. So, and they and she knows, Lala knows where we are. No, I just told her. Oh, she knows we're in the castle. Okay. In the grounds. Okay. As the two of you guys are talking... You ran over to the darkest corner you could find. You kind of turned around. What's your passive perceptions, the two of you? Ten. Thirteen. Okay. Do you swear there's like some sort of light force coming suddenly from like a light amber glow coming from behind you? And it, it, you take a moment as you look and you see the eyes of a statue open up as it's beginning to walk towards you and engage. So let's roll initiative real quick. Uh, as it's currently in this corner, the two of you guys, so I'm going to place you guys where you're all due. Um, 
So. I love the far end. You're on the far end. So we're going to have. Um, also, side note, check yes. out our awesome custom minis from WizKids. They're yeah, amazing. They're amazing. I have cried over mine. I our know, pictures. We, um, Steve, is, are we on the minis? Cute little ones are off in the corner. Thank yeah, you. we're a little bit minis, further away so you than guys that, just to give them down in the corner. Oh, I know. And then they're they're unfortunately, so cool. our, our good players. friends here are not going to be yeah. engaged in this battle. But Ava Baden. Ava Baden. Yes. So, Moira, I'm not going to put a, a thousand minis in front of you. I'm yeah, just going to yeah. grab one of them. We can't see them all on. Am I no. able to very quickly give him all the information? Yes. About the gold eyes, the limping, the well, fiend. He's, he's going to take a moment with you because he's yeah. a little... He himself is keeping his guard up. Uh -huh. this and I want to some reason disperse a bunch of his men. And well, women to to further that, I want to lean in a little bit closer to make sure that it's just us that hears this conversation. Yeah. He and I. Yeah. And he stopped you right here. Okay. okay. So I know you can't quite see it on the mini map, but he has stopped her pretty far away. So as this is occurring. Fun. We'll roll initiative to see what happens as this statue comes alive with its us? eyes. Uh, yeah. Just for now, I would love everyone to roll initiative so we can try to figure out what's happening because there's probably going to have to be some oh. investigating in your own eyes. Well, but the two of you guys know that someone's coming at you. Seems quiet at least for now, but 21. someone's trying to attack. 20. 21. 20? Oh, I got a 22. Oh, nice. 20 20 well. 22 for... 20 oh, uh, 20. I see. 21 yeah. for Rowan. 20. 20? Yes. What's your uh, dex mods? Two. One. All right. And then 20 to 15? Uh -oh. oh, uh, 18. 18, Lilith? Okay. We rolled well. Yeah, you did. Not me. <laughs> uh, uh, 15 below? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Seven for Lala. I took a hair off. Okay. Thank you. So, as this is a crane... Very quietly, still the chaos and the noise of everything around you kind of muting the, um, the, the, the shuffling of, this, of these feet. But you now see that every about 50 to 60 feet, there is these like statues just standing there. They look silver of some sort, some sort of metallic. And right now this one's eyes has lit up and it's beginning to walk towards you with its weapon. It's not super quick. But it's trying, and it's using its action and its turn to move in that direction. Are so, we still passing without trace? Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. So, Rowan, what do you want to do for you now? Because you, I'm going to say that you don't know anything's happening. You're very far away. You can't see in the mm -hmm. distance. But the two of you have not yet exchanged that information that Lala had received. So if you want to do that very quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. tell her that, um, that they're in the castle grounds and that... Um, I forgot everything that was said to me. I'll just say that you spit, like, almost <laughs> as you had been receiving the information yeah. from There's, Fauna. Fauna's okay. voice is in my head. Okay. And, and this is all the thing that she said to me. I think I just found out more information yeah. from you. Yeah, she was just yeah. asking mm -hmm. questions. Oh, yeah, she's like, there. so that they So they know the that I pooped on him. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, it's an identifier. They gotta know. Okay. They gotta look through the guard with the, the poop, the that hidden model. feature with the... Ooh, well, I, so I had kind of wanted to, um, uh -huh. before we got this far ahead in the timeline, yeah, yeah. I don't know, and I mean, I can adjust this, but what I was thinking I was going to try to do is when the commotion, when the domino commotion happened, that mm -hmm. kind of happened like right after our moment, right? Where, um, the, it, yeah, that happened about like four minutes ago oh, right okay. now. Yeah. Okay. But right now you're kind of gauging what's happening. What did you want yeah. to try to do during that? Well, moment? I wanted to try, I was hoping that he hadn't put the earrings all the way in his pocket and I was going to try to like fly around him. So maybe they would oh. swing out and fall on the ground. Yeah. They haven't left yet. Like they're still discussing. There's some sort of like commotion happening in the center with whoever had swiped those earrings that you're now receiving. But don't forget, I think that like, as this is happening, um, you probably had to get that information from Lala, too, because, yeah. Lala, you're the one who saw that and okay. witnessed it all. So yeah. I don't do that. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, get a mini for Laurel just real fast so we know where she is. Oh, um, she's, she, well, she's far away. Okay. She's about okay. from where you guys ran in the opposite direction. Don't forget, this is about 500 feet wide, at least, okay. a, 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 a first I just, eye's glance. When I was theater of the minding, I thought they were a lot closer. No, they are solid 250 gotcha, gotcha. feet away. They cannot see much at all. Because okay. you guys ran you guys ran to the left, to the Blackstaff Towers on the left. The marble, the marble housing palace is on the right, and then the center palace is in the center. Um, everything's kind of spread out, but these are the three main buildings that you guys have seen and witnessed. 
And you guys ran to the left and they went to the right right now. And then in the center of that, the 100, just 150 feet of chaos and people and caravans. Um, so as this is happening, I'm going to say that you exchange that information. Exchange information. Mm -hmm. And for my action, I would like to fly above and see if I can find where my friends are. All right. Sounds good. So, so you're just going to roll a perception like, check. You're going to fly up after knowing that. And can I do roll a perception yeah. check, please? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Takes a moment as you sweep around. What's your speed? My speed. Mm -hmm. My speed as a tiny bat is five, flying thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. So you fly thirty feet around, but from your vision and from the point of vision you have here, from what you gauge and you can see, you do not see your friends anywhere. At least in the immediate vicinity of where okay. you are. So what would you like to do? Get on the cusp of that or perch back up with Lala? I'll perch back up with Lala for now. All right, sounds good. You make a sweep. You get back to Lala's side, and you're like, I can't find them. So you have a feeling they're not within, at least within the area you guys can see and witness. I did I mosquito bite. I want to try to write oh, another note as soon as I saw the, huh. is it too late to Let's do have that? it be on your action, because okay. this is all kind of happening okay. at the same time. Okay, all right, so right. that's your action. Fawn, what do you want to do? I... Uh, I see this guy behind me, which freaks me out. Yeah. Don't bring the fight to me. Uh, no, but you're so. Safe. I'm gonna bless us again because we're out. Okay, is that a bonus action? Uh, no, it's full action. action. Okay, full action. Your full action to cast bless. I'm blessing us again, mm -hmm. and then I am gonna use my bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to. I'm gonna put my spiritual weapon on that dude that's coming toward me. This right, statue. sounds good. So you're just gonna go and run out? No, oh, I'm casting okay. my spiritual weapon. Oh, like uh, again, uh, right next my to my phoenix. Your phoenix. Do we have your phoenix, or do we want to yeah. use a pretty? We'll use a pretty yellow. Pretty yellow dice. Because it freaks me out. Sounds I'm like, good. why is this statue coming And where coming do you want to cast it? Right next to him, nearby. On him. On it's him? attacking him. So like above him. I have to see if it hits. Okay, sounds good. Roll to hit. Fifteen. Fifteen to hit does not hit. Oh, as no. the um, weapon kind of crushes into the back of this animated object, and it just kind of hits the back of it, but it seems like it doesn't shake it, or at least with the armor it's wearing, you're not able to cut into it with spiritual weapon right now. All right. Is that your full turn? Uh, Do you want to move? Or are unless you good? we're moving, but I'm with Lilith, so I don't think we're moving. So you just want to stay nearby? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to free her from her. Oh, on your action? Yeah. Okay, Moira's next, though. Is that okay? Yeah, it's just let me know when I guess I, I, I imagined I broke free, though. Mm -hmm. Is that my I'm gonna movement? Say, I'm going to say there's been a lot of story contingent upon the fact that you've been conveniently wrapped up and able to be carried around, so I'm going to say it's going to require some sort of go. help or a full action of a friend to get you fully tied out, because it's been very it's been nice being able to be all wrapped up and carried. Um, but I thought but, I had the I knew how to get a die. You did, but remember how you rolled the dex check of five and you couldn't quite get out the knot? I thought oh, I thought I couldn't get out of her. It's I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I think I might have lost on the story <laughs> point where we were, that's all. Um okay, not a problem. All right, so Moira, it is your turn. Do I sense anything happening or am I just too far away? I mean you're you're conversing right now with this okay. guy and he seems to be a little concerned and had broke away yeah. all of his friends from him. So do you have anything you wanna say or I'm just going to lean closer to him mm -hmm. so, to make sure that it's just us, and I'm going to tell him about the Mass Lord and the ooze that we had seen as big black blob thing, and that the the Mass Lord that we saw had gold eyes. Okay. Was trying to the make moment some the moment that you start saying anything like a Mass Lord talk, yeah. he like puts his hand on your shoulder and he goes, "Listen, I have a feeling you don't quite understand how the city works now." I, myself, have had my reservations. I will not say more than that, but this isn't a safe place to say all of this. And he just, like, looks to you. I'm going to go attend some things. I was never here. And he, like, turns around and he begins to walk away. I'm going to follow him. Okay. 
I, I just hope that he is going to a place where we can converse because I need to tell something the about moment, this. Yeah, the moment that you start to walk, he, like, puts his hand up and he okay. shakes his head. Yeah. Like, don't follow me. But, like, he isn't warning the guards. He isn't, like, trying to get people to arrest you. He's just putting his hand up and walking away. And he points back. Back. Like, look behind you. Okay. Uh, does he have anything on him that is, is, is specific to him? Is there, like, an insignia or... Roll a perception check as he's walking away and you're just trying to gauge what's happening. If nothing else, I'm just going to locate object on his armor, but I want to see if there's something specific to mm-hmm. him. Uh, perception? Mm-hmm. 15. 15? On his cape, you see an incredibly interesting symbol. Mm-hmm. And it looks a lot like this. Mm. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, you know, mm-hmm. if, I, if I've been telling the wrong person information, then just I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. <laughs> so, that is your full action, using that perception check and getting that dialogue and trying to catch what's happening there. So, Moira, your turn. Lilith, what do you want to do? I, yeah. uh, I'm going to help Fauna get out of her... Sure, under your bonus action, just, yeah. uh, your, I'm okay. going to say, just roll a quick dex check to see if you can just get that silly knot that Moira made out of uh, the back of her hands. <laughs> it's not a good knot, so... <laughs> Should have my bubble. 17. Yeah, you find that one loose thing and you pull on it, you realize how weakly it was assembled <laughs> as you're able to just get <coughs> Fauna out of it. <coughs> only good on shit, what can I say? And then I'm going to bestow curse on this. Oh. Okay, sounds good. Is that a save Statue? on us? Um, it's going to have disadvantage on attack rolls against me. All right, do you actually mind reading that spell? Because it might be very specific. Yes. Can you, can you um, read it? So a remove... Okay, I touch. Oh, I have to touch a creature. Never mind. Okay. Would you like to do something else on your action? Anything else as this thing is walking towards you? Um, I'm just going to start. I see Moira, right? Yeah, you turn around. I'm She's a, not I'm too going, far away. She's about I'm, a solid maybe 100 feet away from you, if that. I'm going to start walking 30 feet okay. in her direction. Sounds good. You want to use your full action to get closer? All right. So can I have you roll a stealth check? Are you still trying mm-hmm. to be kind of stealthy? Yes. I need a little on your side. Yeah. You're leaving me <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> oh my gosh. It rolled from here all the way. It's a nat one. So. <laughs> it rolled right into, into this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It knows it's in timeout already. Yeah, so it knows as it's you timeout. begin to run <laughs> forward. Wait, can I use my bless? Dice jail. Not on a put one, on unfortunately. Put it on a one, one. is Dice jail. That, yeah. Hide it. Um, and also blesses for, oh, not for checks. It's only for savers. So sins. as you run forward, you just like in the chaos of like what's happening, you just want to get to Moira and you shout Moira. Like you shout it out loud. Oh, that's a stupid thing that Lilith would not do. But oh, yeah. I love it's, it's, almost, it. it's almost like a one happened somehow. <laughs> it's almost like there's a ghost that went in your body and made you shout it like a ghost. Um, ghost and Kelly. Ghost and Kelly. <laughs> I forgot to add my blast to my attack. You can oh. add, yeah, you can add it to your deck. Yeah, don't forget that. Um, but um, as you were running forward and you accidentally said uh, Moira as if a ghost went in your body. Um, um, you, <laughs> I like the theme. I like the ghost theme. Um, uh, Moira, you catch this. So you turn around and you're like, what? And he turns around and about 20 other guards turn around. You catch no, no, no. as this like voice was like, very loudly said. You catch that there's two other oh, similar statues no. on the other side whose eyes are also starting starting to look like us. Chills. Okay, so I got where, chills. Where I want to be my turn. Hey Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use these awesome Sorry, figures guys. to just stand in. They're not minotaurs, but it'll work. Hey Kelly, <laughs> just a clarification question. Yeah. Where did Farland point? Um. And then there's one also down over there. Um, and I'll put it, I'm going to have one sits on it. Uh, what were you saying? When he turned and pointed back, Farlin, where did he point? What was he pointing at? He just said behind you. Like, like go. Like, behind like it was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, in my direction. Like, like I'm trying to help you or like cover I... your tracks in whatever way he was trying to do. And he was wow. like. Hi. <laughs> so we're over here. Yeah, I can, I can see that now. Okay, so you definitely hear where the little is. She was such a deep Hello. Yep. do that. Hello. All right. So it's now the creature's turn <laughs> as it's going to. Oh no. It's five, ten, fifteen. Get oh, no. right up to Miss Fauna. Ivy Underbow. No! 
Um, as the other two, uh, their eyes light up. They have to roll their initiative. Okay. So, uh, this uh, armor, almost like inside of it, glowing energy. You do not see a face. You do not see, but it's almost like this ar armor might be animated as it goes forward and goes to slash down at you with its silver sword. So, this is going to be, what is your AC? 18. 18? That is a uh, 18 to hit and a 17, which does not hit, so. Yeah. I don't, wait, oh, hold on one second, it was plus five. So, that's only gonna hit you with, so it would be one, one more higher, sorry guys, I was reading it wrong. Um, so that would be one hit. So, that's three points of bludgeoning damage. It's not bad at all. As the weapon goes down and slices into you. Uh, but this 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 creature just kind of like like intimidates, you, like tries to use his burning eyes in your face and is trying to like do something with you. As you see for a moment that this there's the, the, there's no face, but there's like a there's an energy to it that is like peering into you. All right, so that's his turn. Uh, Rowan, what do you want to do? Oh wait, no, it's Lala's turn. Excuse yeah. me, Lala. Yay! I'm going to write another note. Okay. That says. Search the uh, the cloaked guy with the bird poop on its back. Or Search no, poopy the cloak. The bat poop on so its that, back. So that one, it's about a foot and a half shorter than her, and he was wearing like a yellow garb bat, black cloak. I'm going to describe okay. the yellow Search garb cloak. black cloak with the bat poop on it. Sounds good. So you and describe it as best of your abilities. Crumble it up. Yep. Um, what do I have that is a little heavy, but it won't hurt her? Nothing. I have nothing. Part with my money? <laughs> Fine, I put a copper coin in it. <laughs> and I wrap it. And, and then I'm going to throw it at her. Okay, sounds good. Uh, roll a dex check. I'm going to cheer which you one? on with the tiny hands. I don't, I don't know which tiny Backwards. hands right now. <laughs> All right, the tiny hands are going in dice trail. Yeah, okay, tiny hands are not good for rolling. Uh, dex check? A uh, dex check. Not a dex saving for it? No, just a dex check. Seven. Oh, okay, Ooh. so uh, you take a moment and you kind of like baseball, you know, pitch it, uh, like uh, overhand, uh, in the direction of her. It totally flies past her and it skids behind um, like a few of the people in the robes and the mask. Let me see if any them as they're engaging not good at baseball. one of the ones in the far end ones that's wearing like a green trim uh green trimmed rope uh with like a very long cape behind him kind of turns around curiously and looks down and is like did something just fly by or am i crazy it's like the third one on the third on the triangle side the third point farthest away from her okay so he caught that uh and it does look like a man just from the, the way his shoulders kind of move back and hit the musculature that you see as he turns so uh, can I, I'm gonna tell Rowan, I missed, should I try again, or should we get the heck out of here? Try. Again? Again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right. any bonus section? You good? Um, you know what, while I'm here, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on the green cloaked one. All right, sounds good. So you focus your energy on the green cloaked one. Take a moment as you allow that to ping on your radar. All right, so it is now, because of the initiative order, their turn. As they are going to move, someone would have been down here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20. So we'll be able to get within range. Uh, uses a full action and movement to get to you, but they are currently right within space of you as the other one comes over to flank uh once more you see these like burning yellow eyes silver armor um clearly some sort of defense mechanism being set off so that's their turn rowan yeah so i still have no idea that any of this is happening no you've been actually dealing with a totally different situation yeah. with lala okay yeah ah uh, okay i don't know what to do um <laughs> All right, I, um, 
Um, okay, so I'm going to transform into a giant eagle. Whoa, cool. Okay. <laughs> so you become a giant so eagle. I'm big now. Yeah, you're pretty big now, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I like wave high at her with a talon. <laughs> and I'm going to fly again. I'm going to, like, stay put. <laughs> And I'm going to fly again and see if I can see what's going on. Okay, sounds good. What's this? I'm going to try to find them again. 80 feet. 80 feet? Okay. And can I have you roll, um, do you want to be stealthy? Are you trying to be? Yeah. Okay. Roll a stealth check Do we still have Pass Without Trace? Yes, you would, but I still need you to roll a stealth check to see if you can be stealthy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, 16 plus, um, 26 plus. 26 plus, uh, I think, uh, Three, 29. 29, okay. And Very also, quietly. I have um, advantage on a perception. Sounds good. So, <laughs> turn into this eagle, still kind of shrouded in, in darkness, all things mm-hmm. considered. Much larger, though, than the bat, who is and a I'm little high. bit easier so, to hide. Yes, and you begin to soar up, you take flight, and now with an 80 foot speed, you're going to hit the cusp of your 80 feet and roll that perception check with advantage, okay. please. Eagle eyes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 22. Okay. Right on the cusp of your vision, um, from where you are, 120 feet away, so right as you hit that 80-foot mark, right, 120 feet away from your 80-foot mark, you see on the edge of that Moira, and she seems to be, like, standing and turning around, and you just see these guardsmen all turn towards her, like, in unison. Like, and you heard on the very edge of your vo- uh, your, your eagle ear, Moira. Like as if somebody, a ghost <laughs> of Lilith had said it in the distance. <laughs> okay. So you're catching that Lilith's voice okay. shouted out Moira. And um, yeah. And okay. I'll say you see that at the very edge of your vision. Okay. All right. Okay. That is your action and your full mm-hmm. and your full movement. So you see her 80 feet away, like scouting right now. Okay. So that is your turn, Rowan. Fauna. Okay. I'm going to... Use my speed and get the heck away from this guy. Okay, where? So, where are you moving? All right, they're ten. both going to have opportunity attacks on you then. Wait, really? Yeah, <laughs> they're engaged in melee with you. Okay, then the first thing I'm going to do before I do that is call my spirit guardians. Okay, sounds good. So, Where would you like to cast them? Uh, so my spirit guardians are in a 50-foot radius of me. Oh, all around you. Yes. And yeah, they a, is that a concentration me. spell? Um, so when you cast a spell, you can designate any number of creatures you see to be unaffected. So obviously my friends are unaffected when mm-hmm. they're near me. An affected creature's speed is half in the area. When the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. On a failed save, the creature takes 3d8 radiant damage. Fantastic. And is it a concentration spell or is it just a... Is it just an enchantment, or is it... it? It's duration up to 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, sounds like it. Okay, sounds good. So you cast your spirit guardians already. What do they look like? <gasps> they're, uh, they're little phoenixes that fly around. <laughs> so you have your phoenixes everywhere all around you. It's beautiful. And would you like to do, as you cast that, and use that as your action, you have your speed and you have your bonus? Yeah, so bonus? I'm going to run the heck away. All right, sounds good. And There's so, going to be an opportunity attack on yeah, that. Yeah, but that they have. But is that considered? Well, I believe that it's if they start their turn in it. Um, I let me just see the spell real quick. If they if they're in the area, do you mind if I just read the spell? The, yeah. the spell wording can be so uh, hard and Specific. interpretive. I know. Call forth your spirits. They flit around you in a distance fifteen feet. Uh, when you cast it, you can designate any number of creatures to be unaffected. Speed is halved when the creature enters the area for this t- first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So when it enters the area for the first time on a turn, on a turn. So I think they would have to still be there physically and you would still have to be physically around them for them to take effect. Yes. I'm going to say that's probably, probably needed. On a turn. Yeah, like on a, on a turn. So the, like the first action on their turn. Like. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I need to get away from them, so, but then they're going to attack me anyway. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get away and let them try and attack Okay, me. sounds good. And don't forget, you can move on your bonus action, your spiritual weapon as well. Yeah. All right. Rolled hits. Ooh. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, my AC is... 18. Yeah, they 
they swing and miss, swing and a miss on both of those. Oh. They try to lop at you, but My they almost Phoenix do it at the same time. Is a Lathander. Keep oh. me safe. Yeah, you're able to run away without any trouble. And what's your speed? 25 10, feet? 20. Five. 25, all right. And then with my bonus, sure, I'll move this Yeah, you can two. move that. And which one do you want it to see? Uh, that one or that one? Let's see. What is the radius of it? Um, It's actually not a radius. It's a single target hit. Oh, so yeah. So you can have your Phoenix hit one of them. Uh, I'm going to have it hit the first guy. All right. To. Sounds good. And all I right. Blessed. Roll the hit. I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 15. Yeah, and enough. another swing and a miss. Like your phoenix goes in to claw at it, but it can't even get leverage on its armor. These things are strong um, and clearly made of metal, which is difficult to hit. So, Fauna, you just run, you run. Go for it. Moira. Now I got my speed. Uh, I'm going to use all 60 of my feet, both at just a full action, just sprinting right to her. Oh, okay, so. Um, and Straight to Lilith or? No, no, the Fauna. Fauna. Okay. Uh, and as my bonus action, I, I can get a bonus action, correct? Mm -hmm. Even though I'm booking it. Okay. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. So you just run towards Fauna, yep. cast Shield of Faith on yourself. As Lilith, as you see, Moira, <laughs> run past your right hand side. Hey! Um, <laughs> uh, is it my turn? Um, no, I'm just also oh. going to mention that you see Moira running away from like a ton of guardsmen looking in your direction right now as well. <laughs> So, have a lot it is now your turn, yes. <laughs> Do I see um, Rowan flying around? Um, unless, I, right now, it's hard to see her. She's um, right on the cusp of 120 feet away. I could have you roll if you're going to try to look for her with your action, a perception check. If you're like, I actively, like, I would like to try to find Rowan or Lala. Okay. No, it's okay. Okay. Um... I'm just, I'm going to go meet up with, with the rest of my troop. <laughs> okay, so you kind of like, as all these guardsmen turn around, you kind of like sling back. Can they have you roll a stealth check, actually, to see if you can kind of fade into the shadows? Don't let Staring me down. Staring at a line of dudes. Uh, bye. <laughs> Natural 20. <gasps> oh, you are stealthy as shit. So I'm going to say what happens. It's actually like, I'm going to say it kind of freaks them out as Lilith just like smiles this smile as black shadow wraps around her feet and then dances around her and then only her face is there for a second. Ooh. <laughs> Spooky! I Just scene paint, I guess, a little bit at the end of this battle, and then we'll pick it up straight from here yeah. next, next week. week without ghosts. <laughs> no ghosts, no, no power ghosts. Sure. No lights. <laughs> like heard after that nat 20, and it was yeah. so it epic. rocked the grid. It, it was, was just too powerful. Yeah. The crit that broke the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if we, I'm not certain if you guys caught what happened right after that nat 20 year old, but this is what happened. All of these city guard were looking at her. They all turned around slowly as shadows started to dance and wrap around her feet and get a uh, roll across her stomach all the way up to her arms and just so she has like a face surrounded by shadows. If you want to do the, uh, the visual. <laughs> <laughs> and she just falls into the darkness as the shadows converse over her body. Um, so with that, the city guards all seem highly uncomfortable and start pushing each other and pointing in that direction. And we'll pick it up from there. We'll say that the battle is going to continue on next week once everything's running, but... Yeah, thanks for yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks for, yeah, thanks for having having watching. Watching. We'll see you next Sunday at 3 p.m. We're back to our normal time, normal 3 p.m. PST. No ghosts. We're going to get a priest in here to just, you know... Cleanse. 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 Palo Santos. Um, dudes, everyone want to give their shout-outs? Handle shout-outs? Oh, yeah. Um, sure. Other shout-outs? I'll start at G-O underscore N-I-N-O. Go, Nino. Go, Nino. <laughs> uh, Sunny Seely, S-E-E-L-E-Y, all the E's uh, on Twitter. Yeah, find me there. <laughs> you can find me everywhere at A Style Pixie. Hey, I'm Kelly, your dungeon master, and it's now at you're a wizard, Kelly. Y-E-R. Yeah. Y-E-R. Just to you know, mess around with people. Also watch 
Uh, oh, Sirens. 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 Yes, Tuesday, Tuesday nights. nights. And um, watch the Dice Camera Action uh, episode that just was up earlier today. It was awesome. Great. Yeah. Uh, I'm Kim Hidalgo at Kim Hidalgo. H I D A L G O. <laughs> I'm Alice Food on Twitter and Alice Gretchen on Instagram. Gretchen is G R E C as in cat, Z as in zebra, Y, N as in Nancy. Also, our handles are right under us. Yeah, so yeah, just yeah. Like, yeah. So normally they are. Oh, yeah, right now yeah. it's not. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they are in chat. The sound is so kind of scary. Yeah, they're in chat. They're in chat. So anyway, see you guys next week. Thanks for Thank tuning you. Yeah, thanks Thank so you much, you guys. Story continues. Good night. Happy Halloween.